Oh, this man don't got no. I look like he don't got no eyes. Is that is that um what's his name? It's Aunt me Aunt Jermaine, bro. Wow, y'all was y'all was some good people though. Y'all took him home, bro. Cause just imagine, like he thought he, he probably thought he was in his crib. <laughs> I don't, we don't know where he came from, bro. Bro, he probably was in the crib and like he walked out the door by accident. <laughs> nah, you didn't just say that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, think about. You didn't it. just say that, bro. Nah, you didn't bro, just say that. Bro, he door. walked out the crib by accident. Bro, bro. he walked out the crib by accident. He's like, dang, hold on, I'm like, I'm trying to get to the kitchen. <laughs> He's like, wait, why don't it's a, it's a breeze outside? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's wild. He's he was, like, hold on, that's why he was screaming, bro. You really didn't know how to get home, bro. Like you would scream, bro. Think about it. You walk out your crib, but you think you go to the bathroom. You just keep going. Bro, stop saying that. <laughs> I know. You see. <laughs> what the world means to me makes, makes it wonderful. Right. I really wonder what that noise was. I'm getting paranoid. I said, what the fuck was that? Oh, word. You know her phone. Her, she had the mic over there. That's probably be hearing shit over there. Can I check real quick? Oh, am I crazy? Check what? It's all good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I got, I got this issues. This nigga smoke weed, bro. <laughs> smoke, angel, smoke angel dust. Is <laughs> it angel dust? That was good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's smoking on that shit. Dom is smoking. I just be- <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making sure, bro. Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regs Podcast, episode number 131. I'm your host. I was D- close. My bad. <laughs> you was not close. I said 132. You said 138. You I locked said, that in. I said 132 before no, no, I no, locked no, it no. in. No, 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 no. I asked you. You said 138. Lock it in. So you was, t- you was seven off. I said 132. It's okay, bro. At least he tried. Welcome. I'm your host, Dido, a.k.a. Darius. I'm here with my co host Corey in the building. Say what's good to everybody. What's goody, my guy? That's like my first poop in this house today. That shit felt good. That was your first ever poop in my house? Mm Mm-hmm. Why is that your first poop in my house? It's the first time I had the shit in your house. Yeah, and I think he blew up the bathroom. I did. You gotta go fix it, bro. And shout out to Jay in the background. Jay got a mic today because we got some things to discuss. We got a special, special conversation. Say hello, Jay. Discuss the young. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh yeah, you see the attitude of her voice <laughs> Yeah, we got a lot of dis- things to discuss So if you're new to the channel, subscribe If you love this, if you love the content that we give out We're not going to threaten y'all anymore Because I think they're revolting back And they're like, we don't care about y'all They're not, they're not afraid of us If no you more. love it, just love it, bro If you like it, like the post That's what I'm saying, just like it If you if you watch us every week, you might as well just post put post notifications on like Send it to video, a friend Like this video That's it That's it. Liking is free and you know it's not needed, but hey, it always helps. But we got a lot of topics and discuss of discussion to talk about today. So we're gonna start off with this one topic that we're gonna talk about because Corey and Jay was arguing on stream. If y'all didn't know, we wasn't arguing. We was having a conversation. Do you want to talk about <laughs> it? Do you want to talk about the conversation while I adjust your yeah. volume? You want to adjust me up? No, because you talk mad low. I'm not talking. I'm talking high today. Like you could, you could hear yourself in your mic. You could, like you low, bro. I can't Put hear some... myself in my mic. What? I can't hear myself Is she, because you're talking low. I'm talking. I'm talking low for real. <laughs> like you talking low. Like you can hear me, right? Yeah. That's how you talk. That's how you supposed to. You talk like this. Well, you know. I don't talk like that, you know, bro. <laughs> you think he's lying, bro? I don't talk like this, man. Like he's like he said. Well, we got a topic to talk about today, so I don't you know, talk like that, man. She got an attitude. To, this is exactly how you talk. This is exactly. That's how you not talk. how I said it, man. Like what are you talking about? I like said, I'm looking at your bars. Your bars not jumping. My bars right not now. jumping. Nah, your bars oh. not jumping. So you I feel to... like I'm screaming right now, though. Like nah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not screaming. <laughs> no. I feel like I'm talking mad loud right now. It's either that or your mic not close enough. But I'll put your volume up. It's Go because ahead. he's not used to having headphones in. So oh, that's what it is. Lower. Yeah, that's probably what it is. I yeah. forgot I have headphones on. Yeah, put some bass in your voice, bro. Put some bass in my voice, man. I oh, know. Put so, some depth to your voice, I mean. Some depth in my voice, man. So, well, me and Jay was discussing on stream. And if you was on stream, shout out to you. Um, damn, I don't remember none of the names. But shout out to all y'all that was on stream the other day. <laughs> <laughs> but Follow us on Twitch. All, in the li- all links in the bio, you know what yes, I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. So we was discussing was, God, my nigga, what you doing over here, bro? I'm trying to talk, bro. Trying to kill himself in the pod, bro. (laughs) (laughs) Trying to Christopher Reeve yourself on the podcast, (laughs) man. So in the early stages of Darius' relationship with Jay, she got mad at him (laughs) (laughs) because 
somebody while Darius was in a compromised position. No, 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 no. Let me tell the story. Let me. He was in a bathtub. No, no. I'm scared. I don't like this. All right. So Corey basically was calling me a crash out. I said no. I said she crashed out one time. No, for this situation, he was calling me a crash out because Darius was at his school in a what was it? Uh, the ice tub. bath. Ice bath. Ice bath. And I guess there was some girl in there having a conversation with them. And she actually came out of nowhere. She was not talking to us. Oh, so that that's even worse. So he just, okay. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so she ended up taking his phone, putting her Instagram in his phone and following herself. And I'm trying to see if y'all agree with me. That's a good reason to crash out. Like, how does she even get his phone in the first place? Like, but, why did she let him? I mean, why did he let her snatch the phone? Like, he was in the ice bath. Like, he couldn't okay. get out and rock her shit. The, I don't say hit her, <laughs> but be like, yo, give me my phone. I don't want your Instagram. That's I mean, what I should have done. I mean, so, but what he did, right? He unfollowed her right away. Like, okay. off the rip, unfollowed her. And. He he told Jay like, "Yo, this is what happened." I thought I was W boyfriend. I was like, "Yeah, look at this dumb ass." I just let a girl take my phone and put her Instagram. First of all, this girl. First of all, I do blame him. I'm looking down. No, he did. I blame him. He just said he dubbed the girl (laughs) when he unfollowed her without her knowing. That's not dubbing a girl. (laughs) Nah, just when she look at her phone and be like, "Oh, this nigga unfollowed me." Like, oh yeah, because she's gonna know. Like, she's gonna look at her following to know. Yeah, because she's gonna try to follow him back. She probably already memorized his Instagram. Oh, it's TLW. Let me just go search his name up. Yeah, and then she, but she wanna see. Oh, he unfollowed me. Like, damn, this nah. nigga not fucking with me, bro. <laughs> he didn't dub her. But I'm on your side <laughs> a little bit because he didn't have to tell you. <laughs> That's L boyfriend. If he didn't tell me, he didn't have to tell you because he did everything. He unfollowed her. You feel me? Like. I told Jay everything, bro. Yeah, I know. That's your problem. That's why Corey will be a terrible boyfriend. Hey, man, that's why. Because he would sneak, do sneaky stuff. That's not sneaky. That's just, I don't, everything. That don't is. Be, I don't need to be shared. Like, I did my part already, but not. No. You already agreed with me because I asked you on Twitch. I said, what if your girl was to do that? You said you would be bad. I would, yeah, I crash out too. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, fellas, this is a learn. You learn from your mistakes, you know. I, I've been, you know, I've had mistakes. I did bad things. Not really bad. Bad things, things is crazy. Yeah. Not, it's, not bad. <laughs> it's not bad things, but it's just like you know, little things where it's like, dang. And I learned from them. I got PTSD though. I be. I used to. I used to tell Jay. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. he laughed. He laughing. He dead ass. Bro. If, a girl, if a girl gave me a high five, I tell Jay immediately, bro. That's how Man, it used to be. we could be walking down the street, <laughs> and a girl, a girl could look at me and Darius and be like, "Damn, y'all fine," and don't say nothing else. Nigga, Dare's gonna text her right now. Jay, bro, these bitches said we fine, bro. Yeah. That's <laughs> you too, because I would do the same thing. I bet you he ain't tell you when we was in New York and them gay nick them gay people said that we was we look good. What he gay people? When we Whoa. To, for uh For what? <laughs> for uh who birthday? Was it your birthday? What you mean? When, what? We, when we went to BBQs, whose birthday was that? Whose birthday? Oh, that was Chris's birthday. But Chris's birthday. No we, gay people say like. Yes, I good. swear to I swear Who? to God. Where we, we left B, we, we left BBQs. <laughs> Look at him. See, he <laughs> ain't tell you that, about? right? He ain't tell you there that. There was huh? no gay people. Go call somebody. Bro. That wasn't me. Call that was some, you. Call somebody that was there. What you mean? We was walking out the BBQs. We was walking down the street, and it was a <laughs> it was a group of gay people just as deep as us. And they, they was catcalling us. Not me. Yes, they was catcalling cat all of us. y'all. All of, who, who, you was a part of us. What you mean, y'all? Nah, it wasn't me because we was like separated. No, we was not. Yes, we, was, we was like maybe the distance between me who, who and you. Who you want me to call? Who you want me to call? Who was UJ? I think UJ was there. Hold on. Let me, I let mean, me, I know UJ was there. Let me let me see if I... Like, call I think, who you were walking with. I don't even remember that. Like, I remember it happening, but I don't even remember like the, the people of it. Dang, I don't even got the number saved on here. Um, Which is good. Oh, freak. Uh, continue. See, I told Jay everything. He didn't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're weird. All right. Uh, I don't know which one's UJ's number. I think like, it's this one. You want to take a guess? Yeah. Let's see. Who, let's let's see who answers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who this is gonna be. Who is this? See, this iPad's weird. Like the camera's right here. I want to know who this is. This might not be. Who is this? Oh, <laughs> this who is that? This <laughs> 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 yo, <laughs> yo, Alex, it was good to the pod, bro. 
Say what's good to the pod, bro. You are, you live on air. <laughs> Yo, I thought I thought uh I'm calling on my iPad. I'm trying to see like my friend. I thought this was my friend's number. I don't have the number saved. Yeah, yeah, but you know it's a ah got him. <laughs> nine o nine o eight eight three eight. Nine o eight eight three eight. Yeah. Nigga I, took a random guess. I couldn't do that. Bro, I don't remember. Because yeah, he be doing that to me. I know you don't. Oh, I'm going to say you don't remember. Uh, I don't remember. Bro, I don't remember who it was. But it was definitely like. Not, I remember somebody cat calling us. But I don't remember. Yo, UJ, bro. Say what's good to the pod. Say, good, nigga. All right. So, Corey, Corey has something, right? Remember for Chris's birthday, we went to BBQs, right? You remember when we went to BBQs? All right, so Corey was saying that niggas was getting cat called by some gay niggas. We didn't get cat called by a group of gay niggas, UJ? Yeah, we did. We oh, did. God, we did. Yes, bro. <laughs> I don't remember that. Uh-huh. Yeah, we definitely did, though. Nah, dude, we didn't get cat called, but we did say some shit. Like, I guess it was cat called. I ain't going to front. What did he say? Do you remember? They was cat calling us. They was talking like, I don't know what they saying. Like, yeah, they was like, yo. It was like, you feel me? They was cat calling us. But, like, weren't we like... Yeah, Mm-hmm. I don't remember that, <laughs> bro. But like, weren't we? I thought we was like split up in like two groups. Like there was like a group in the front and the group. We in the wasn't back. separated that far apart, bro. We was clearly with each other. One group, like it wasn't that far. Dang, who was he really looking at though? It was like ten of them, bro. There was ten of them. It was a group. It was it was a group just as big as us, bro. Oh my god, dang! I don't remember that. <laughs> Like Darius, bro. I'm telling you. Nah, dude. bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> but I just wanted to ask you that about that, bro. All right, good. You trying to deny it, UJ? He mad again. <laughs> nah, bro. All right, bro. Nah, that was. Cr- I forgot. Wow. I didn't forget because I remember looking. I was like, I thought the first two was girls, <laughs> <laughs> and then they got closer. I was like, Oh, those are niggas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay. Dang. Nah, bro. But more of the story is. Fellas, tell your girls everything, bro. Don't hide no secrets, mm-hmm. right, Corey? Yeah, facts. Don't don't hide no secrets, no secrets. Yeah, but <laughs> since we got Jay on here for a little bit, I got a game we could play. It's called Crash Out. Or we chilling out? It's kind of cringe. I don't I don't know how to. You don't know how to word it. Yeah, Crash Out, or chill out, bro. So I got some. Uh, you can say Crash Out, or chill out. That's crash fine. Out, chill out. Crash, crash out, out, chill out. Feel me? It's like the, you like you watch the Mellow you can Podcast. Make it cringe. Yeah. yeah. So we got. I got situations and scenarios whether. And we're gonna rate them at whether it's crash out worthy or we just chilling out. Like it's nothing. It's not that deep. All right. So it's it varies from relationships. You're over here like I'm crashing out every time. <laughs> <laughs> now, some of these I might crash. Like it's I, I realize I might be a little bit of crash out. So some of these is like, uh, it's just it's not like all relationship based. Like some of this is just like normal life based. So your boss, your boss, your boss, mm, wow. get it out. Your boss, <laughs> your boss calls you a racial slur as a joke. As a joke, how cool am I with him? Um, you just started working there maybe like six months ago. He's Are like, we tight though, or like we? He's he a oh. cool dude, but he's like, "What's good, boy?" That happened to us, bro. Crash it did. Out. Crash out. Crash out. Like what's crash? <laughs> crash out, bro. Crash out, Jay. I don't think so. There's like, what they gonna say to me? Like, 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 speak. What's up? <laughs> what's up? Wet back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think I would crash out, but I would be like, yo, we not that cool. Okay. Like, chill out. So, now like, you just you going to be chill. Like, you're not going to give him, like, no attitude or nothing? Like, are you gonna... mean, I'm going to give an attitude, but it's not going to be like, you... yo, why you call me that? Like, it's not going to be oh, Okay. Awesome. you be like, watch yourself. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Chill out. Okay. I'll, I'll chill. Chill. I, I, I agree and chill out. I ain't going gonna, gonna to be like, what you say, cracker? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, chill out, bro. <laughs> okay, okay. If they keep going, though, then I'm going to crash out. Like, like, oh, what if he's like, what if it's like a scenario where they're at work and it's like a group of people and he's like making fun of you? Like in front of everybody, everybody laughing at you. No, I might have to crash out. I don't like being embarrassed. That's what I'm saying. Like he's just like he's like, hey, look at this sexual? guy. Not, not instead of racial. What if it's sexual? I'm gonna crash out. Crash out. Crash out. Okay, okay. You crashing out? Like if he's like absolutely. Make- oh, like sexual towards me? If no, I'm no, crashing out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. No, if he's like uh, he's like making fun of you. Crashing out. Crashing out. Like mm-hmm. what's your crash out? Like you tweaking on him or you like you be like yo don't ever talk like you like really pressing him. There's no shit not gonna be funny after after mm. I finish talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And nobody gonna be laughing. I'm like damn. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <He> mad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Someone disrespects your significant other in front of you. 
Got to crash out. You have yeah. to. I think that's automatic crash Disrespect out. as in like what? Like they're playing around disrespect? Nah, like or? they call you like, like if somebody called like you the B word. Oh, oh yeah. I'm, I'm black. You got to cra- you got, you, you gotta crash. If you don't, you might not have a shorty out there. Like, <laughs> you, that's you. what I'm saying. Like, like I was, because I'll be th- seeing like scenarios where people be like at like baseball games and like, mm. the, you know, like the. It all, nah, even if, it, even if she was wrong, still crash it Of out, course. Right? Like either like tweak. Are you gonna crash out to where you gonna fight the guy? Depending on how bad it depends the dude's how bad it is, and it, it depends if he double like if I if I crash out and he double down. Oh, now, now you got now you gotta go now full gotta, force. Now yeah, I gotta fight. Now you gotta go full force. Like, but I'm, but if she was wrong, once we in private, oh you're, you gotta talk. You're, about you're it. no, you're I'm crashing out on you too. Because <laughs> why are you putting me in a position where I have to fight your battles? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you crashing out, Jay? If somebody like what's some girl like threw threw water oh, at me? Yeah. It's done. Oh, that's that's OD. Like, you better that's crash OD. out. Oh, yeah. she, she's liable if, to get slapped by me. If, but. It's, <laughs> if okay. it's just words, I wouldn't. Like, well, like the the godly side of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would want to stay calm, but like I feel like my mind just be blacking out. Because I feel like for girls, right? It's like when a girl calls. Like I feel like it, there's not a lot of dis- disrespectful things you can say to a, a man, like from a, coming from a girl. Mm-hmm. Like even like if they like say like SMD, like that's not really crazy. Nah, that's cr- like if somebody that's throw a Frank at you. Out. That's, that's crash out. out. Where somebody throw a Frank that's at you? That's crash out. Like a girl <laughs> throw a Frank. <laughs> like I'm not not to the point where I'm gonna put my hands on you. But like if my shorty with me, you better crash out. Really? Yeah. Like she's like 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 crazy. Yeah, like, you, you throwing a Frank at me, bro. That's you. That's fighting words, right? Mm. I, I like I don't want Jay fighting though. Like I'm like she like she want like she goes out and tries yeah, to fight. I'm like a couple swings in and I'm, I'm looking at my shorty like you heard that. What's she big, big Bertha, bro? Nigga, we could jump in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> I, I seen this when I was looking up topics. They said your your significant other says they want to go on a girls trip to Miami. This is very specific. Crashing out. <laughs> I'm crashing out. Why, for, why are you going to Miami for? So. No, I'm, I'm not. not gonna, I, I wouldn't. Like even, me, I wouldn't even care. I, I, I wouldn't. Nah, I wouldn't crash out. I don't. I wouldn't care. You better not. How many trips you went on with your boy? Exactly. I don't care. <laughs> nah, I said I wouldn't really care. Yeah, I wouldn't care. Like if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Like I, I know that's what I'm saying. If it happens, like hey, you, you can't stop from happening. During spring break or Miami period. Nah, during spring break, like. Oh. That's that max. That though. might be crash out. That, that's that's <laughs> max. But my though. thing is like, if I stop you from going, I mean, I just stopped you from cheating. Like if you was gonna cheat, then cheat. Like, right. like go ahead. Like for me, like, if, I'm not gonna stop you from doing it. Like if you I, mean, I want to, yeah. Want, if you want to do it, do it, so I can know like. It's over. You feel mm, me? That's true. That's true. That's true. If I'm stopping you from doing it today, all right, you might not do it today, but right. eventually you're going to get my ass. You Damn. Me? And it's spring break right now, too. So a so, lot of guys watching this, like, dang. <laughs> you know I mean, good girl went to Miami, bro. Puerto Rico. Uh, Mexico. DR. Oh, it's over. You feel cruise. Me? Oh, my God. A cruise is like a. It's man, like a. It's unspeakable like a, things coming on those cruises. It's like a prison, man. bro. You I'm can't. There's, saying, no, bro. there's no connection. There's no way off the boat. Like you oh, can man. really have a like they can really be having like a whole relationship for a week and then just never see them again. Find a new shorty. She went somewhere <sighs> this week. That's crazy. Find a new shorty. She went this where, somewhere. Hey, Amen. But all right, so you're not crashing out. No, I'm not crashing. I'm not out. crashing anything. You're not. Yeah, you're not crashing. It's like there's no need at that point. There's no need. All right. You was it? Um, someone tries to disrespect you in front of your person. No, I'm not crashing out for that. How bad though? I said, I'm not crashing. Oh, you're not. You're no, not, crashing not crashing out. Crashing you're not crashing out. It depends what the disrespect is. Like if it's to the point where, like, like if some, like if, like she's like, yo, you with this nigga? Like this is your man? Like this is your dude right here? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, hating, hating ass nigga. Yeah. Right. Like you want her? Bad. I have, can't get her. Man. Stupid. Mm. I was thinking about that because you ever seen that one video where it was like some some girl where uh what's it called? Some girl was drunk and she went on like somebody's like uh like interview uh-huh. on thing and she was like mad drunk. She was like, Yeah, I want you. And then his, her boyfriend came by and said, Yo, this is my baby girl, I don't want to talk to her. And then she's like, the boy's like, you start to talk to me. And then he, the guy was interviewing the the boyfriend, and behind you see the girl getting picked up by one of the dudes. And the dude was like, Yo, 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 don't pick up my girl. He said, like, Bro, I'll pick you up. See, that's I mean, crash out worthy. Now I gotta crash that's out, bro. Now I gotta word. crash out. I don't care. Now you playing? Like, now you playing with me, bro? Like, <laughs> you feel me? But like, feel he's me? About- dumb for co- still considering her his girl that after was- he's getting she's getting picked up. Yeah. First of all, yeah. I we're, just walked away. We're crashing. I'm crashing on both of y'all. And then I'm walking away. But like, feel me? I'm crashing out. Crashing. That's different though. You trying? You playing with me now? Ain't trying to embarrass me. That's what I'm saying. I don't you're like trying be, you trying to embarrass me in public too. Yeah, nah, it's over. Bro. That was the craziest thing I ever. But seen. But like, let's say I'm walking with my shorty and he like somebody. Oh yeah, you fat. 
Yeah, okay. no, nah, that's not crash hour. That's wild. Suck my dick. <laughs> you know, like, all, right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Um, let's see. You walk in on your significant other cheating on you. Crashing out, bro. I think that's automatic. Oh crashing. my god, crashing out. I think that's automatic. Just imagine. Let's ma- just imagine that. I don't want to, but oh my god, nah. Well, imagine walking into the crib, you just see. Huh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they dying. That crashing dude, out, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm OJ crashing out, bro. Yeah, I think I'm slamming that dude on his head, bro. Slamming it, yo. I'm not. I'm you got to the fu- put the white glove on me, bro. Like, if it don't fit, bad. you gotta quit. Bro. Like, <laughs> you gotta, I'm gonna tell you. you I see think me that's the-, the only time where crash out is like actually like. 100% you gonna, you gonna see me getting chased in the Bronco, bro? I'm I'm crashing out, bro. I'm killing. Nah, I'm, every- a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm killing everybody, bro. I'm gonna turn my walking in on it is crazy. That's so bad, bro. That's crazy. I don't care who it is. I'm just gonna black out. I'm crashing out on you though, not the girl. What you mean? Unless the girl knew about me, then I'll crash out on her. Oh no, that's fine. But like, I can't, I can't fight you. Right. I got like, I got in the moment, I gotta grab that weight right there. And just I gotta crash out, bro. <laughs> just, just cause I seen it. Like, damn. Like, not one thing you doing it, but you, I see it. Like, so you will crash out on the guy. Hell I have yeah. to. I can't hit the girl. You can't hit the girl. But first yeah, of all, I'm murdering guy, both. What if the guy didn't even know he she had a girlfriend? I mean, he had a. But are you in my bed, though. You, you in my bed, bed. You in my crib. You don't see that right you there. You feel me? Like, <laughs> no, like if it was, it wasn't here. It was at the girl's house or something. Well, you gotta. You, I have to put my anger out on somebody. It's not you. It's gonna be you. you it depends. I mean, you like, right. It depends. If it's somebody I know, crashing out. But if it's yeah, somebody, if it's a random, if guy, it's a random guy, I'm making my presence be known. Feel me? I'm still crashing out, but I'm yeah, not putting I'm my still... hands. I'm not putting my hands on nobody though. But like, I'm still crashing. Oh, out. Oh, you're not going. You're not going to hit the nigga. If I don't know him, like I don't like you know. But like first reaction, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And then after that, it's like he don't. Right. You know, Lewis, he... Yeah, I don't he know. Don't, that but like, st- uh, I, that's what I'm saying. It's just like the anger in me off the rip. I'm just gonna get like real mad. The anger of me off the rip is gonna be like, hey, yo, what the fuck? Yeah. And then after that, like, I don't know you, bro. Mm, like, I'm gonna okay. just tell her get out, and if she don't get out, then then yeah, right, yeah, you don't want you don't mm. want what's coming, but you can stay for it. Mm. You okay, okay, okay. See, that's very re- that's reasonable. Cal- that's like calculated. Crash if I out. know you, if I <laughs> if I know the person though, oh yeah, no, nah, off the rip, crash off the rip. They they getting uh, DDT on their neck, bro. All right, what other ones do I got? Um, I got very simple ones on here. If you you at the club, right? So say you're at the club, you know, drinks, is, you, got, you got a couple drinks and you go to the bathroom. Your girl dancing on another dude. Crash out worthy? Yeah, yeah. it's crash out. It's crash out worthy? Yeah. yeah, I think that's crash. Like that's crash out, out, what's crash out? Like yelling or like get the hell off her? Get the hell off her, bro. But like I'm crashing out. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? Not even get the hell off her. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Mm. Like I just went to the bathroom. Like you you, you getting active that crazy that fast? Because I feel like I've seen something where it was like a girl... Who said, who told me that? I think it was Tyro. I was at the <laughs> somebody told me that they went to the club, and I guess the girl's man's went to the bathroom, and she was so drunk that she thought one of the dudes was her man's, and started dancing on one of the dudes because he looked like him. Now where does that stand? Ah, uh, crashing out, bro. Still crashing. You still got yeah. crash out, but like that. There's no excuse. I don't care how drunk you are. You're yeah, still, like, like that's crazy. You don't know that's me. That's what I'm saying. Like you can't tell. Like that. Like am I that? Like notice. Like I'm that. Like. I'm normal. <laughs> now you're like normal, dude. Like, come on, bro. Nah, that's crazy. What he told me, I'm like, oh. I'm a get enough. back type of girl. You gonna get it so back? So we we gonna stay in the same club, and you gonna stay dancing with her and see oh, me gonna... with other people. <laughs> you I'm like, yo, damn, upset. you bugging, bro. Chill, you yeah. can't do all that. <laughs> I'm bad, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna go with everybody in the club in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna be on there on stage. She gonna be on the DJ. Oh my gosh, she gonna make sure. Right, I'm, gonna find, I'm gonna find the ugly. <laughs> I'm gonna find the ugliest dude in here and dance on him just to prove a point. Nah, the ugly. You do the ugly. No, I'm doing the one that I think look the the best. So <laughs> nah, you can be mad. Nah, the ugliest one's gonna hurt more. No, it's not because that guy's ugly. He gonna be like, dang, that guy's handsome. That she he she's dancing. You right, him. damn. She might he might she might go home with him after. Mm. Damn, you right. That suck, bro. It's, <laughs> it's crazy because there's a lot of people that are probably going through this right now. Damn, freedom niggas. That sucks, bro. They probably went through that last week. We witnessed it firsthand. Oh, I did. That was crazy oh, work. Yeah. Me and Jay did. What y'all witnessed? At UJ's party. UJ's party, oh, yeah. bro. I ain't seen nothing. There was some sharks out there. That's so bad. Oh, yeah. my God. I felt so bad for that guy. <laughs> he don't know a thing, bro. Damn, I ain't see it. You, you, got... Bro, you remember the dude, though? He was the one white guy with the plaid shirt. I remember, okay, I remember seeing him. I'm going to see on the white dude. That's yeah. It. So, you know who his girl was, bro? Nah. 
she was dancing with one of our mans. The only one that was with the girl the whole night. She was she was Oh Yeah, yeah. Free that free that nigga. <laughs> free that white guy. She was hugging him like she loved. Damn, nigga tried so hard not to say his name to say. I bleep it out. I bleep it out. What are we at? Twenty four. He's terrible. He tried so hard not to say it just to say it. (laughs) All right, I got one last crash out, and this is not nothing. By do I have one more? Uh, I think yeah. This is the last one, and this is not really about relationships, but it's just about like bread. So, so right, you tell one of your mans right to put this parlay in for you, a hundred dollars payout, ten k. He don't do it in the hit. Yeah, nah, it don't like. He does it, but he he tried to put he met like he he was like you know what I don't think this one's gonna hit and he changed it last second. Payout was, I say payout was like something wild like fifteen k. I'm fifteen ga- k. I, I, I wouldn't crash out. I'm ga- I'm a gambler, bro. I'm not gonna crash out, but I'm like you gonna like you gonna know I'm like I'm not fucking with you. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> how much? How much does you, does it have to be crash out worthy? I mean, either any, either one is equally crash out worthy mm-hmm. because it's like, damn, bro. It's not like crash nebula crash out. It's yeah, like, it's no, just like, like damn, like, like it's not it's not mo- it's not money that I didn't like for me. I didn't lose fifteen k. Yeah, I lost a hundred dollars. But you would have been. But uh, it's like, damn, what can I? What if I it was a hundred k? Hundred k. Hundred k. No, it's still it's still the equal. Oh, cra- it's equal amount. Equal, equal amount crash out. Yeah, but it's like feel okay. me. It's just like you fucking asshole, like like you play around too much, like yeah, like, like, like listen to me the first time, like put in my bet, bro. Why you changing my bet? Dang, bro, that's crazy. Bro. <gasps> you think you crashing out, Jay? Mm-hmm. You're not gonna be mad. You just be like, ah. Oh. Yeah, I'm be like, dang, you really lost me that money. Okay, okay. Give me my hundred back. <laughs> okay, okay, that's not bad. <laughs> you owe me hundred dollars at least. Okay, so you guys think there's like levels to crash out? Like we There's definitely levels. You feel me? Like you could be fuming. Oh yeah, you know it's levels. Huh? <laughs> yeah, she's like, yeah, it's levels. Yeah, you know it's levels. There's definitely levels to crash it out. You feel me? It's definitely like, you know, it's getting mad and then like yeah. doing too much, bro. Like you have the LSU game, bro. What you mean? The LSU game where the brother hop over the stairs. Is that he, too much? He's a cra- Yes, bro. That's crash out. He's the crash, crash out, bro. <laughs> that's the that's the top of the tier. Like, what would you want to do, bro? <laughs> <laughs> He's protecting his little sister, bro. It's a basketball game. That bro. is true. It is a basketball. And game. And she no, started. She pushed her hard as hell. I was she, the same. She thing. started it. Okay, but it had nothing to do with that other girl. Let them fight. It yeah, out. but and then that girl is six eight. That other girl is like yeah, five, but you 10. have to understand. It's refs on the floor. Like it wasn't We're, going. It's, so, a, and, 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 it, far it's not a high school. It's not a street game. It's a. It's a. It's a natty, bro. Yeah. It's a that like, girl. That girl. Whoever. Whatever her name is, six eight. She's a punk. Oh no, she is. Because she, she is, didn't no. do that to the other girl but that's all for, game. That was her size, and the other girl her was ass. pulling her hair. She busts her, she busts her ass though. Who? Injury. She, she killed that. She killed injuries, bro. She was. I mean, no, she made injuries. Injuries played bad. Oh, okay. she, she just had a bad game. She had a yeah. She was locking that shit up. Dang. But, but Angel Reese was pulling her hair, doing all that, and she didn't do nothing to Angel Reese. You know, I agree with that. Like, it was no need to push her that hard. All she did was bump her. Mm-hmm. But like. It was no, like, her brother, like, he went to jail for, I think, for a battery and something else. Deserved. It was no reason for you to jump that, jump into that. Uh, off. He went First to all, jail for that? Yeah, he got arrested. Oh. Battery and something else. But the nigga pushed on a security guard and everything to get to her. Like, what was you going to do, bro? Yeah, that is true. Like, what like, is he going to do? And it's a woman's, it's a woman's yeah, game, Yeah, and that's too. on TV. Like, yo, you like, crashed <laughs> out, bro. Like, you, every, 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 every second of time you do, you deserve it, bro. What the fuck was you going to do? Because I think we understand because we play basketball. Jay Rinder, I mean, Jay like I'm saying, like... So you think, would it be different if it was like a boys game and a girl hopped over? Yeah, no, same... No, uh, same, same, same like, Why are you... What are you doing? Like, like, I would like, do that. Because our if, freshman... If I seen somebody push Darius or my brother like that, I'm hopping on the in a court. In a real game? Yes. And I'm swinging at men. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Like, I understand what you're saying. And I understand what she's saying. Because it's like... But, at the, but it's like... You it's an organ. It's that. not like it's not like we're on the streets, where like men's uh, league crash out. Men's league, you could crash out. Crash out in the men's but league. But now I, I crashed out one time at one of his. Oh yeah, we was at the park, and um, oh you never met uh what's this dude? And you know you know you know how I be. Like mm-hmm. I was I was I was scoring all the time and I was talking bad smack. And then I think he was talking smack to me and he was pissing me off. And no, then, but he was doing the most. Like he was like fouling him and like. Pushing him down to the ground on purpose. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I forgot what I, I blacked out. So I said something. 
and he was he was going back and forth with me. He was like, "Don't make me go my get my sister." I said, "Okay, I'll be here all night." <laughs> yeah, this sister wasn't gonna do nothing. Get her, please. You, you know him, huh? Yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, him. He he live. Oh, I'm not gonna say where he live, but like he like I used to play basketball. With him, so. uh, but he, he nah, was, that's all. That's all means for crashing. That's all good though. for crashing. But Feel if it's me? like in an organized event, you know nothing gonna happen. That's what I'm saying. And if anything, wait till after the game. Like Jimmy yeah. Butler and them. Yeah, like for me, it's like gonna Conor McGregor. Yo, like them, zer- them zeros gonna hit. Like for me, like you don't gotta do it in the middle. <laughs> that's yeah, that's, that's elite crash that, job. That, that's that's calculated. But like, if you still like, angry, if you would if you would have hopped on on, this, on bleep, what time is it? If oh. you would have hopped on <laughs> when, she, when he was wilding in the business league. I'll blame you, bro. Hop I on. forgot about that. Who's but, that do? The one remember when the, the Tyrone remember, was arguing. Remember in the oh, Miss League, Tyrone? he didn't do nothing to Darius. It started because he was him and Darius was drawing. I didn't know that though because they they were talking on. Was the court. that really? I, I can't remember. remember he, he was that. saying he kept calling you like ass or some shit. Then you you scored it, nigga. I didn't. And know I was that like, I was like, yeah, that's a pro move, Darius. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember it. Yeah, I got a hoop. I gotta go back a hoop. But yeah, he was talking shit to Darren first, and then Tyrone, I didn't know that. And then Tyrone just tweet, bro. <laughs> See, Tyrone is a big crash. Crash yeah. out. Tyrone's a crash out. He, he didn't have to do that, bro. Tyrone already had to do that, bro. Tyrone is top two. Tyrone used to crash out on our coach, bro. Tyrone used to crash out Coach Log. Like Tyrone got kicked out of practice at least twice a year. At least true. twice a year. I will crash out on Coach. Yeah, Log. Jay. Jay will be like Tyrone, bro. Jay, I Jay will I, get. I wish I crashed out on lock, bro. <laughs> You never had your crash out moments. I didn't, like, bro, Cause you were never locked in, bro. I didn't care no more, bro. Like I, just, I was just there for like, the ride, bro. Like dang, bro. I was, I was about Jeff Teague, about Jeff Teague <laughs> shit, bro. I'm just here, bro. Like, I'm waiting for someone. I need you to fight with me, bro. I feel like I was battling by myself. Uh, first of all, I was on the side, so I couldn't battle with you, bro. Cause you didn't want to come in and freaking do the bro, thing. Bro, every time I came in, he was like, "Get out!" I'm, after a while, because, I'm not gonna try bro, no more, bro. Because he always, th- every time you would come in, he would think you are gonna mess up the play. I didn't though. Like <laughs> sometimes you would. Yeah, after you had no faith in me, I'm like, all right, bro. Like, <laughs> like, it's a matter of time. Just get me out of here, bro. Yo. Hey, man. Everybody, everybody's a crash out in their own right, man. You know, everybody. I, even yeah, I but crash sometimes, out. you feel me? It, like, it's no, you don't got to crash out to the extent where you, like, sometimes you got to, like. You, you got to learn from your crash outs, you know. Like, you know, I've crashed out, right? Have I ever crashed out? Oh, I haven't? Oh, okay. I'm calm, dude. I don't think so. Smooth criminal, man. You know, smooth this. Smooth this. Look at you. Look at your story, man. <laughs> you just to say, yeah. First of all, you're a crash out. So don't act like you're not a crash, crash out. out I'm not a crash out. I played out. basketball with you. Not, That's how, different. How many jerseys have you ripped, bro? How many shirts have you ripped, bro? I made like five. How many shirts have you ripped? Shirts? Yeah. How many shirts that is no longer here no more? <laughs> not, okay, shirts and jerseys that I ripped in my life. You ripped the eight. goofy shirt, bro. I did rip the goofy shirt. No, bro. But, I, I was but like, that's why different. That, I'm bro? a different person in basketball than I am in real life. You're a crash out, bro. No, I'm not. I'm half, cra- I'm half crash out. No, you cra- no, you are crash out. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You got no, anger not. problems. I'm not a crash yes, you, out. Bro. Yes, no, you I'm are, not, bro. bro. You have anger I'll problems. I'll be chilling, bro. He's a damn liar. I've seen him real mad. Like, real. Like, I had to grab him one time. <laughs> you be real mad. You can't even give an example, bro. <laughs> bro, there was a time, I forgot what we was doing. It was like either somebody threw a Frank at you. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm going to crash out over that, bro. Come on, bro. Like You're talking about open gym, right? Yes. Yeah, bro. Come on, bro. Like, Corey be ready to fight everybody. Like, Corey really had... No, for, it was... it Was was that freshman year? Shit. What, what year didn't it happen? Because there was a time <laughs> freshman year, I thought Corey was a freaking... Like, had anger management problems. Like, he scared me a little bit. I wasn't playing, though. That's why I was mad. I just wanted to play, bro. This man was just... <laughs> I'm sitting on the bitch angry, bro. <laughs> like, fuck? dang, bro. <laughs> But yeah, man. People, I crashed out on Mike Vick on the bitch. I did crash out on Mike Vick on the bitch, bro. Our freshman year. What'd you say to him? Because I wasn't clapping. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't <laughs> clapping, that's what Mike bro. Vick I'm sitting. Playing, right? I'm yeah. He asked me he had this heart shit. So I'm sitting there just watching the game. Him, I'm chilling. Yeah. Yo, he got in my face. Yo, clap, bro. Clap for your teammates. Oh yeah. He said, nigga, <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm like hell no! I'm not clapping for nobody, but I'm watching the game. Leave me alone, bro. Those are good times, bro. I ain't gonna lie. We had some good times on the bench. I remember Corey. Nah, Corey got subbed in one day and he had Skittles I had in his Skittles socks. Skittles in my socks, bro. And it all went all over the court. I had to throw them shits. It was so bad, bro. I didn't think I was getting in, bro. <laughs> hey, remember the ritual we used to have, bro? Yeah, it was me, the you, and Tooley, KB. bro. The Tooley, bro. It worked. It used to work, bro. Good old times, bro. But yo, oh, think about speaking about that, bro. What was the crazy? What was the craziest memory you have from college, or in about Rutgers in general? Because I've I don't have a crazy memory, but I just seen some wild stuff the other day, bro. Want me to tell you about it? Yeah. So this was yesterday, right? So I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming. I'm leaving work. I'm leaving the dome. You know, I'm driving out Washington. Uh-huh. So I'm right next. I'm I'm at that. I I passed the light that was that's by uh Rob's Pizza. Yeah. You know. So 
there was two guys. There was like, you know, they had hoodies on and shit. They had hoodies on and they was walking. They looked like they was probably like high or something, but they was walking and I passed them. But when I was when I was going to my car, I went I parked in the parking deck where the uh the HLC building is. Mm-hmm. So I parked in there. So I passed them walking. So when I got in the car, I passed them driving. And I seen one of the guys, he was standing on the on uh right before the bus stop. But he was like in between the bus stop on that corner where the bookstore is on Bleecker and yeah. uh, Rob. So they was like right in the middle. And the guy was like standing on the curb like this, just looking around. And his man was on the wall with his ass out. And I think he was taking a, a doo-doo on the wall, bro. I promise you. I swear, bro. He took a, That's it was, not where I thought this story was bro, going, bro. <laughs> Broad daylight. He was taking a doo-doo on the wall. Dump? He took a dump, bro. Like he, he had, had his, a bodyguard dumping. Yes, bro. He had his pants down, like, and he wasn't even close. It was just like he was like where that door was, and like I'm here, and he was just like his his uh pants was down, his his butt was on the 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 brick, and he just let it rip. I know he didn't wipe his butt too. Yeah, and you already grab the leaf, bro. There's no leaves over there. That's straight. That's a right. that's a building, bro. Right, <laughs> what no leaves you? We don't got no leaves in Newark. <laughs> like we got bricks. Damn, bro. That was the wildest thing I see. That was one. That's that was bad, probably, bro. That's really bad. That's bro. bad, bro. Like, do you have any like crackhead stories you remember? Sure. Like from living in the dorms. Crackhead stories. Yeah, I remember. Uh, what you call it? It was like three, two in the morning, bro. Yeah. And me and Jermaine are up, and this is this is dude outside just screaming, bro. I have a video too. Dude <laughs> outside just screaming, bro. Yeah. And we're like, yo, this is where we live. We didn't live facing. Uh, Campus, we live facing the hospital. Yeah, yeah. So we like, yo, who the, like, what is this dude doing outside screaming? Mm-hmm. So we like, yell out the window, yo, you good, bro? Ah! <laughs> so Jermaine like, all right, let's let's go, let's go help him. I'm like, no, bro, what are you doing, bro? Why are we we not helping this nigga, bro? Yeah. Jermaine's like, nah, bro, I feel bad. We gotta go help him. I'm like, all right, bro, if you if you go, I got I come with you, nigga. We go we go down like downstairs, bro. Tell me why this nigga has no eyes, bro. He has no. <laughs> this nigga has no eyes, bro. Like no eyeballs. No eyeballs, bro. This That's nigga, why he was screaming. And, nigga, and nigga, he was like, "I need to get home." <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Yo, where you coming from?" Oh no, bro! I need to get home, bro. Walk me home. <laughs> so I looked at Jermaine. I was like, "I walk that nigga home, bro." <laughs> Jermaine like, "Nah, I gotta walk him home." Bro. He walked him home. I, I had to. I followed Jermaine because I'm like, "Yo, I'm not about to let you walk him home by himself, bro." But where we, did he walk? Where was his house at? Like. I don't, I, I don't remember. It's like a little past APD. Little, APD? Yeah. I, I got the video on my phone, bro. They, they had no eyes, bro. <laughs> wow. You had a video of him, like, like, like you have like his eyes. Yeah, I got his eyes. No eyes, Wow, bro. bro. Send me that video. I might put it on here. Chill. Yo, that's wild, <laughs> bro. I remember I had a I had a time. Yo, I, yo, I don't know why some of y'all white people be, uh, now, you know, some of y'all people be afraid of like the hood because of the crackheads and like the, the homeless people. They're cool. They are cool and like, very innovative human beings. I'm not gonna lie, like they be some funny dudes. I remember, bro. I was I was at Hoboken, right? And I was picking up, uh, I think I was picking up food with, for Jay or whatever. And I went to I went to this place, and it was a homeless guy. I bought a Gatorade, and he was like, "Yo, man, can you spare me a dollar?" I was like, "Bro, I don't got no money on me, but you can take this Gatorade." He took, I gave him the Gatorade. He was like, "Bro, he's like, man, it was like an old, it was like an old guy, old white guy." He was like, "Yo, man, can you do me a favor?" I was like, "What?" He's like, yo, you can take me home, bro. I was like, nah, bro, I can't, like, I can't I take you know, home, bro. <laughs> He's like, nah, bro, I'm good. He said, nah, please, please, like, like the bus dropped me off here. I don't know where I'm at. I'm scared, bro. I need to go home. I was like, nah, bro, I can't take you home. He's like, bro, and then he's at my door. Like, he's trying to open the door. I'm like, nah, bro, like, back up. Like, you can't, like, you can't get in my car right now. Like, I'm not giving you a ride home. You're not getting in my car. He's like, no, nah, please, bro, please. He started crying, bro. I felt so bad. I'm like, nah, I'm still not taking you home. You took him home, right? I don't know what he gonna. He would have killed me, bro. What man? He would have freaking stabbed me or something. That would have been bad. Are you still looking for the video? I, I got it. I'm, trying, I'm just trying to get to the point where he showed his eyeballs. Oh my gosh, bro! Was that freshman year for you? Sophomore? No, junior year. Oh wow! So it was like a little more recent. Dang, bro! Like people, if y'all see a homeless person, give him don't give him some money. Make, he might use it for drugs. You know, he might use it for heroin, crack. But they, think about it. If you was itchy all the time, Yo, you was I'm hurting. Lying, bro. Tell me, tell me if I'm lying about the story. Do this see. nigga has? Do this nigga have an eyeball, bro? Let me see. Tell the pilot if I'm lying, bro. Nah, this man don't got no. I look like he don't got no eyes. Is that? Is that? Um, what's his name? Is Aunt me Aunt and Jermaine, bro? Wow, y'all was y'all was some good people though. Y'all took him home, bro. Cause just imagine, like he thought he, he probably thought he was in his crib. 
<laughs> I don't, we don't know where he came from, bro. Bro, he probably was in the crib and like he walked out the door by accident. <laughs> nah, you didn't just say that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, think about you it. didn't just say that, bro. Nah, you didn't bro, just he say walked that. Out he the walked door. out the crib by accident, bro. bro. He walked out the crib by accident. He's like, dang, hold on, I'm not, I'm trying to get to the kitchen. You're like, wait, why don't it's, it's a breeze outside? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's wild. He's <laughs> he was, like, hold on, that's why he was screaming, bro. You really didn't know how to get home, bro. like you would scream, bro. Think about it. You walk out your crib, but you think you go to the bathroom. You just keep going. Bro, stop saying that. <laughs> That's a crazy word. He said he thought he was in the bathroom by accident. Bro, he was trying to go to the doo doo. That man went. He it was like a fifteen minute walk. That mean he was walking for a minute, bro. bro. That's all. He's probably just yelling and walking. Like, please, like, help me, help me, bro. I need bro, help, bro. First of all, I, I didn't think about this, bro. What? How the fuck did he know how to get home? We didn't put it in the GPS. He told us how to get home. <laughs> I just thought about that. Like, he, he didn't say, "Yeah, I live at, I live here." Like this is my address. He, he, he directed us. How did he know? How did he know? Wait, time out. Yeah, yeah just, hold on. Wait, I just wait, wait, about wait, that, wait, wait, wait. That makes no sense. How does that work? I don't know. Because think about what if he just what if he just dropped him off at a random person's house? We might have. Oh, because he didn't tell us like, "Yo, my address is so so so." He just said, the street. He said, "Yeah, nah, just, be, just, just let's go, go here. <laughs> now make a right. Now make a left." He's just saying that, and you're just like, "Follow, like I right, bet, like, yo, that's funny as hell." Yeah, he just dropped y'all off at a just, random just, crib. All right, bro. I mean, like, I, and we didn't watch him go in the house either. Wow. Oh my gosh. I hope he's okay. Hope he's alive still. He's probably not. Probably not. But uh, hopefully he is. Dang, bro. That's wild. That shit was like, we was like, yo, he was screaming for like twenty minutes, bro. We like, yo. Who is this man screaming, bro? I thought that I thought he was gonna tell us that story about um. I think Ty, Tyrone told me before, like when he was like there was like a, a homeless guy screaming, but he was like a, he was on the on the wheelchair and he fell off his wheelchair or like his wheelchair was going nah. down the hill. Yeah, yeah. And he yeah, was like, like, he's like, help! And Tyrone was like, shut the fuck up! Like the hospital's right there. Just get off the wheelchair nah, and crawl. No, nah. nah, yeah, no, that's bad. That was like a what? That was in, I think our junior year too, bro. Our junior year was crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. What was that? Twenty. That was right before COVID. Yo, 2019. I'm you, 2019 was a crazy year, man. It's crazy year. But I got I got another topic we could talk about because, um, because out of everybody on the pod, bro, you was the boy. You was the guy that I like to talk to about animals because you are very well known with animals. You work with animals all the time. You know, shout out your business if you want to. Shout, shout out to people out Pet, bro. Shout out Animal General, man. Type shit. Nah, shout out River Pet though. But I got some things we could talk about. It's, I have a segment called "We're gonna explore the animal kingdom," the things that you may know or may not know. Uh huh. Okay. So I have. Mm, where would I want to start off first? Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on this one question, right? So we're talking about the animal kingdom. So me and you, we talk about we can fight anything. Can we survive? You fight. You talk about you can fight anything. <laughs> with you with me. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, we can fight anything. See? So, can we survive the top 10 most dangerous animals in 2023? Are you going to name them? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a name them off. Mm-hmm. So, no, 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 no. But, yeah. <laughs> nah, there's a couple that we're definitely. Okay, let me hear it. Ready? So, number 10, the most dangerous animal in 2023 is a pig. Killing 82 human beings in that year. How many pigs is it? One pig. Just one of each. We might. Could, what do no. you mean might? What do you mean might? What do you mean might? What do you mean How might? big? Have you seen a pig, bro? Bro, what does that mean? That nigga, he's not going to do nothing. You want to see, see what a mini pig look like? I know, I know how pigs be. But if you, if I kick him right in the, in that spleen, bro, I could spleen. rupture his, his, he's going to be like, ah, how, 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 how you squeal? Like, like I'm a, like he's bro, done, this bro. Is a, this is a mini pig, though. Like I just, just want to give you, con- I want to give you context before. Bro, I, I've seen a pig. I've been to the Philippines. They, they, I've seen a pig, and they killed him that day after I talked. Like I, I literally, this, this is what happened, right? I went to the Philippines. We was on the farm, and they was like this. They was like, "Oh, Darius, look, look at the pigs. Like, which one you want to touch? Like, which one you want to talk to? I was like, I want to talk to this. I touched that. Which I literally picked the one we had crazy. to eat. Yo, you did. That's foul. I'm not I didn't know. Now. I didn't know. I ain't gonna lie, that's foul, Darius. Why what did I do? Bro, he was like, yo, you which one you wanna play with? You can play with either one. Like pick a pick a pig. I think like, we, we can take pick the that pig. one. We take the pig. We can pick bro, we can take the pig. That's easy work, bro. We take the pig. Come on, bro. Number nine is a deer killing 130 people a year. 
Most of it's car accidents. So car yeah, accident, yeah. We could, we, we could take the deer. Bro, deer's easy. That's, that's I'll put work. him in a headlock, you knock his legs out, uh-huh, it's done. That's bro. light work. That's you light seen work. that one video of the deer that jumped and like he went paralyzed because he hit the hit the tree? No, I didn't see that. Bro, he was like... he was. <laughs> Are you going to talk about the deer that 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 uh that beat up the dog? <laughs> you seen that no, video? No. <laughs> <laughs> he beat up a dog? Yeah, because he was just mad, bro. And then the dog, he just started stomping out the dog for no reason. No, nah, I didn't see that. <laughs> nah. I seen the one, like, you know how deers jump far, right? And jump uh-huh. high? So the deer jumped and like... It was like on a hill, so like he didn't know. Like he was like jumping onto the platform, and I think he got clipped by a fence. Like he tried to jump over the fence that was on the hill, yeah. and he fell and he hit the tree like head on, and he like paralyzed. he like paralyzed from his legs. Like he was trying to crawl. I'm like, dang, he's done. I think up. we definitely got the deer. That's I'm, light. That's light. Yeah. Uh, a buffalo, two hundred people a year. Now that one is take, tricky. I don't think we're taking the buffalo, bro. I think we can injure a buffalo. Can we take on a buffalo? I don't think so. I don't think not bare hands. Bare hands, yeah, no. Nah, we don't got that, bro. That thing's gonna ram us and yeah. just gonna fly, bro. We done. He'll make me lose weight. I don't know what that's supposed to pertain, but yeah. <laughs> um, number seven is a lion killing two hundred and fifty people a year. Yeah, nah, it's deed. Nah, we're not. We're not. We're not messing with the lion. Yeah, nah, I'm cool off that. I don't even know how y'all get close enough to die. Like t- those two hundred fifty people. How the hell you get killed by a lion? Africa, bro. They be sneaking up on people. <laughs> 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 I did see there was like a, a bunch of people. They went like. There was like uh, camping in the safari, and a bunch of uh, a pride of lions was like in, was around yeah, their campsite. Just, they was like trying to yell them out. The amount of lions was just walking around, just saying what's good. Nah, I knew he wasn't, but he was scoping. Bro. They were scoping them they out. Were like, hold on, what's this, bro? You seen that uh, the man eaters? You about to talk about the man eaters? What man eater? What the uh, lions that ate like two hundred people in the yeah. village? Yeah, but it was like they, they, it was in a village. It was like there was like they was building like a train track or something in Africa. And uh, there was like two lions that kept coming back and uh, killing all the workers. Yeah, yep, to two the man eaters, yep. Mm-hmm. That's crazy work. They was like they was killing them down like wick, like, bro. Look, <laughs> like, yeah, look, look, look at these, look, look at these, look at these two humans right here. <laughs> about to eat these niggas. That must suck, bro. Oh my gosh. But all right, number six is is cats, five hundred a year. Like a house cat? Yeah, house cat. Punting that thing. I'm gonna say, come on, you know. But you got nine lives though. Punt it nine times, bro. All right, all right. I'm just making sure. Uh, beaming at the wall. Wait, a house cat is killing people? I guess. How? Probably babies. Maybe babies. Nah, I gotta look that up. How the hell is cat killing people? I have no clue. Diseases, maybe. Yeah, a lot of it. Some they might have like some disease that they carry. Yeah, that's crazy. Cause I think there, I think there is something that cats have. Like if you don't give them a shot, they will give you like something. Like maybe like maybe rabies. That's crazy. Like think about it, like if you get bit by like a stray cat that has rabies. Is rabies probably the least thing you gotta worry about? Really? But you could die from rabies. Yeah, you know. But I mean, if you go, if you got a, if you got your rabies shot, you're good. I know, but we're talking about like third world countries sometimes. Yeah, now you're done. So. Number five is crocodiles with 1,000 deaths per year. You know what's crazy? I read something that crocodiles are really extremely docile. What do you mean by that? Like they're like, like, they're like they don't really like they don't be trying to bite people for real. Like really, I heard I heard the just, opposite. They just be chilling. But like if you provoke it, like obviously I'm gonna bite you. Like, I heard I thought I thought tigers and crocs are like the only things that like would hunt a human being. No, nah, I mean you're, you're talking about like Gustav. I might matter of fact, I think I was reading about alligators. Because like I remember, it might, might have been alligators, not crocodiles. Because there was a story I, I was I was uh, watching before. It was um it was about a bunch of kids from Australia. They went um, you know, uh, well, a tiger would eat anything. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Tigers is different. That's why tigers would be a lion. But they were saying like they went, you know, ATV riding. Uh-huh. So they went ATV riding the outback in like the you know like the whatever that shit called. And they went to uh, not the outback, but it's called, isn't it called the outback? The outback is Australia, bro. I said Australia. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's in There's Australia. Tigers in tra- Australia? No, 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 crocodiles. Oh, so it was a crocodile. So they were they was in the outback, and I guess like there was like a big flood, uh-huh. and like there was like a big like the river was flooded. Yeah. So like I think they was um they was playing around. And they f- one of them fell in the river, uh-huh. and they tried to go get him, but then they like he they couldn't find him no more. And then they realized, like, it was a crocodile got him. I mean, yeah, nah, if a crocodile's hungry, he's But then, issue. right, so, issue. but, like, nah, but, like, then, right, like, the they, they got their mans already. So the two, like, were able to, like, grab onto, like, like a branch and yeah. climb up a little tree. And the crocodile would wait for them and just, like, walk, like, just wait around in the water until they fell down. Uh-huh. Like, they tested out, like, they stayed in that, tr- they were stuck in the tree for, like, two days. Like, they would try, try testing, like, throw something in the water and they'll and see him fall. come up for uh-huh. air and he'll come back down. He'll just, he's just waiting until they fall down in the water. And did they die? No, they, they they got out, but like if they would have fell in there, they would got eaten. Uh huh. So that's so it's like I thought 
Like, if that's a normal animal, they probably wouldn't care no more. But, like, he was just waiting for days. No, nah, I, I, I think what I read about was... was uh, alligators? Alligators, not crocodiles. Okay. But, like, either way, like, if it's hungry, he's going to eat you. Yeah, that's true. Like, do you, I read... I, I, I met, there's this one dude that survived, like, almost everything in Africa, bro. What do you mean? Like, every animal? Almost. Like, he got... He survived <laughs> the alligator, like, in, the, in like, a, a span of, like, two days. Uh-huh. He survived the alligator, like, ambush, like, attacked by, like, two alligators... Then he's he he survived like a a a lion attacking him. Then he survived like bullet ants like tearing his arm like tearing him up. Where was he? He was in Africa and they got. But what is he doing? They was like doing like a safari and then like the safari got attacked by I think alligators. Wow. And like like maybe, or crocodiles. Or, no crocodiles. There we go. Like and like three like three of his people died and he survived like. Four different animals. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That got lucky. I think bro. he got. I think he got attacked by an alligator. So his, he got his arm bitten off by an alligator. Crocodile. Crocodile. Yeah, he got arm bitten off by a crocodile. Yeah. Then he had to fight a lion with one arm, and then he had to fight off bullet ants or fire ants or whatever ants that are, are, are crazy. Wow. Then he had to fight off like a. Then he got bit by like a venomous snake. It had to like <laughs> find help before like the and venom he lived. And he lived. Yeah. That's gangsta. I ain't gonna lie. That's tough. That's tough. That's like. <laughs> That's like, like that one yo, guy. what type of luck do you have, bro? You just nice like that, bro. The the willpower to live, bro. Nah, bro, I'd be like, <laughs> now after I got my arm bit off, no, after the fire ants, I'd have been done. Like, dang, like what? Well, now nah, I gotta fight off these little things. I can't bro, even you beat these things. You had to fight off. You had to fight off a, a lion with one arm. I would gave up then, bro. Like, all right, bro, you. Got I'm it. jacking. I'm the greatest. Well, ever, well he didn't win. They just like left him Gave alone. Up. Yeah, no, like, he was just like they just left him alone. It's not like he beat them. Like he <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't killed a lion. He like survived. Yeah, he, like, he survived. survived the, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, that's not bad. As long, hey, that's bad than nothing. That's like like would you rather that or like trying to like or be the guy that got struck by lightning like seven times and survived? Yeah, struck by lightning. <laughs> you seen that? There was one guy. He got struck by lightning like, like seven different. Yeah, like, like no, seven different times. No, there was a guy. He got struck by lightning three times at once. For real, I didn't see. Bro, that. he got struck by lightning. He was like. He got up and got struck again, <laughs> and then he fell. He's like, he's like, what the heck? He got up, and got struck again, bro. Yeah, I, the three people to do guys, they got struck like eight different times. No, nah, no, nah, that's a, that's a different guy though. But like I was seeing on Twitter, it was like, yo, why? if I was the first time, I'm, I'm like, just, I'm not I'm getting just, up. I'm just saying, like, alright, bro, I'm not getting back up. Bro. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it, bro. No, nah, that's crazy, bro. But alright, so number four is scorpions. That's three per year, three thousand a year. Come on, boot. Yep, step on, on that thing. Step on that thing. So number holes, bro. number three is dogs with thirty thousand deaths a year. It's gonna it's gonna pain me to do it. Bishop Dunn. Whoa, whoa! Why'd you say Bishop? <laughs> what's, whoa, what's wrong Bishop with you? Bishop Dunn. Why you all the dogs that live in like are living right now? Why you have to say Bishop? Bro, Bishop ever came and got me. He's getting kicked right in the spleen. But why Bishop? Like out of all love, the dogs, hey, Mister Petty, I know you're watching this. I love Bishop. All the dogs, but this is an example. All the dogs you know, you point for Bishop. <laughs> if Bishop was trying to kill you, you gonna kill him. Like in I Am Legend, I'm a I'm gonna try my best not to. But if I had to, obviously, like in I Am Legend, he he will be bitch will be a fur coat, obviously. Okay, like, okay, as long as you you good. But I'll, like, if, obviously, I would try like everything in my power not to kill my dog. Of course not, of course not. <laughs> like, please stop, please, <laughs> <laughs> please, I fuck. <laughs> but dogs, we good though, right? Yeah, nice. Easy. Us two versus Bishop. Stop saying Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. All right, only real fans know. Bishop, he was on the pod before. Yeah, which episode? Ooh, if you could comment, nah, they're gonna they're gonna cheat. Never mind. That's all right. Tell them comment. If you could comment what episode Bishop was on and give a timestamp of a clear shot of his face in the camera because he was moving around a lot, Darius is gonna give you twenty dollars. I will. I'll send you twenty dollars. Put cash up. Comment that. First below. comment. First comment. Yeah. Oh, keep commenting though. But yeah, mm. number two is snakes with fifty thousand a year. Nah, we'll, nah, with we'll, we'll snake. Anaconda, I'm not gonna lie. We cool. We cool with Anaconda. You think so? Yeah, I think we good. You just gotta, if he if he grab like one of us might get uh, injured very badly, but like other than that, we 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 could. If he grabs you, I gotta unravel him. And you just then while while I'm unraveling him, just he's get, gonna grab me. Just get <laughs> just get the head and just stomp his head out, bro. It's Anaconda, bro. They're big as hell. I know, but like you just gotta you got. What if it bites you? It's gonna, gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt, but like I'd rather hurt than like get bit by a venomous snake. Now I'm done. What I'm like saying, like, so like, if it's a venomous snake, now we're tricky because like, yeah, because now you can't really can, can, can we can we get close to it? Like we can't be, we got we got to be technical. Like Ta- somebody technical. somebody gotta be distracting. I gotta come in like like curb stomp that thing. 
Yeah, but what if like in the midst of a curve, like their reflexes is crazy. That's what, what I'm saying. What if the curve stop it can he get beat, you? Oh, that'd be freaking like, wild. Like damn, I'm done. What if it's a King Cobra? Yeah, no, nah, I'm done. I wouldn't. You I can't really, like they, they're we, big as hell. We're not sneaking up on no King Cobra. King Cobras aren't they like six feet long, bro? Big might be might be bigger than that. Bro. Wow. Yeah, I think and I, they have like they're crazy venom. Or what if it's a boom a boom sling? A bo- oh, the ones that that roll? No, that's a hook. That's a hook. That's a hook. A hook snake. Hook a boom. Sn- a boom snake is the ones that bite you. Yeah. And then you start bleeding from every hole you got in your body. What? Oh my gosh, that's evil. Like <laughs> that's <laughs> like really. Their venom makes you bleed from every hole you have. Like oh my every hole gosh. you have in your body, you just see now that that's where I'm like. That right there, venom, venomous snakes were done. Even one, I don't even think we could kill. That's what I'm saying, like, but uh, anaconda, I think it's possible. I think it's possible. It's gonna uh, be very hard. Like, one of us gonna be injured. I might well, lose they, a little bit of circulation like, in my ankle. Like forty feet, bro. I know. You you heard about that new anaconda that they found? Nope. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. They found a new a new knew, anaconda, a new species of anaconda, and it was like way bigger than the other ones, like sixty feet long. That's oh, that's a Titanic boa, bro. Bro, it was swimming, bro. It was it was mad funny because it was swimming, and then the guy that was like finding, he was like in a suit, like in the water in a suit. What type of suit? Like a like a like a suit and tie. <laughs> oh what? Yeah. What type of? What type of what but like he was like it was it's like a new species that they found. So that I'm saying, bro, that oh my, that thing's probably heavy as hell. Them things be like so thousands think, of pounds. If we're in the water, we're done. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, but if we're on land, we can we can curb stop it. Give me, we both get Tim Tim's, bro. We cool. Bro, there's that's I, I don't know, bro. I don't know if we got an anaconda, bro. Okay, okay. I don't know. I'm I'm being a little more reasonable now because some of y'all people been killing me in the comments of my over confidence. I don't so think I don't I think we got an anaconda, bro. We might though. We might we might have an anaconda. Depend on the day. A venomous snake. I don't yeah, think we depend, got it, nah, a venomous snake. Because it just take one bite. The the fuck is that? Mm-hmm. And the last one. Do you want to guess what the what the most dangerous animal in the world is? Mosquitoes. Yep. Mosquitoes is one million people per year. No, we're not. We're not. What you mean we not? Oh, you said one mosquito? Yeah, one mosquito. Come on, bro. Yeah. Well, we just gotta find it, but like I mean, no, don't wanna find it. Come get me, bro. What if he what if that thing has AIDS on it? Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what if that you know one they, mosquito got you AIDS? No, they really they can't transfer AIDS to Okay, what is it? Malaria. Malaria? Damn, so we gotta just find it before it bites us. Yeah. So let it like let it land on us and then pow. But gonna... like what that thing bites quick though. So yeah, I right, we just gotta find Yeah, imagine finding a mosquito like in like what do you mean? We gotta be back to back or something. Like, what that's what I'm saying. We just gotta make sure, like, hey, because that thing could, could be in your pants, bro. That's what I'm saying, what if it comes from our feet? Like, we're not gonna oh, see that coming. Damn, we gonna die to one mosquito? Nah. Like, we can't see it coming, bro. Yeah, we couldn't even, we wouldn't even tell if there's a mosquito here because you, like, there'd be times, like, I didn't know there's a mosquito in my room. I wake up with bug bites. That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't know, mm. like, when you, how you gonna see the mosquito? Damn, we, we might done? lose. <laughs> we might lose. We're bro. done. Oh, my. I thought we would get that one. How many do we even kill on these things? We got pig, deer. Cats and scorpions and dogs. Oh, so we, we're half. Half. You half and half? Yeah, half and half. Nah, we're taking the mosquito, bro. All right, more 60%? Yeah, we're taking the so mosquito. We're, right. So me and Corey, by ourselves, could destroy 60% of the dangerous species in the world. Just let that know. Let that now, be known. if you want to talk about the top dangerous species in Africa, I'll think we take it. Nah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Africa, Hippos, Africa Australia. That's like Crocs. another, bro, Africa, Australia, that's another level of things. Like, I'm glad you talk about Africa, bro. Africa is like another world, bro. Like, nah, the con- bro, the Congo is another world, bro. Like, yeah, have you I'm ever. from the Congo, baby. You're from, the, are you really from the Congo? 14, 19%, baby. Okay, okay. But, I'm a, I'm a, so, there's a. The Congo monkeys? Are you talking about the Congo chimps? The that, Bondo apes. The, yeah, the Bondo apes. I'm talking about, yeah. The, the things bond. that's like six feet tall, uh-huh. bro. Bro, what are those things, cuz? Like, do you know about that? Like, or did you just hear I, about I, it? I just heard about it. But I know, like, then they, like, kill a bunch of, like... Bro, they call them tree knockers and lion killers. Lion... There we go. The lion killers. Bro, That's what they are. They said... Yep. They said they... This, yo, this is why... <laughs> this is why I think... that This is why I believe that Bigfoot could possibly be real. Because and of things not, like that. And it's not really... It's not, like, not be a, it's it not might not be a big... It might not be a Bigfoot. It might be something like a, that. A Congo ape. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Them things are six feet tall. They said they're tall enough for you. Like, the they walk on their kills. hind legs. Like, two legs. And they can see you eye to eye. You know, they be taking people's babies. Yeah, they uh-huh. take the babies. And they said they communicate through the trees. Like, they knock on the trees. Mm-hmm. And then they said um, they're big enough to kill lions. They kill and eat lions. And they, they said, like, the locals said that they've um seen them use rocks to, like... Like break open turtle shells, so they they got some intelligence to them. Uh, well, so they be using apes. weapons. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So like I feel like like, and it's like I remember like, pe- your, your baby not safe around 
Wow. In that area. They're not. They will dead up, snatch your baby. Like, that's crazy. And people didn't believe in them at, at first. You didn't hear about the lady that she, 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 he, they, the monkey snatched the baby and took it in the tree and they started eating the baby in front of her? It was one of those monkeys or was yeah, just regular? It was, a, it was, a, it was, it was a, the Bondo a, ape? Yeah. Oh. Snatched the baby from her. Like she was walking with the baby in her hand or whatever. Yeah. He came down, snatched the baby from her, went in the tree, and started eating the baby in front of her. Oh my she gosh. Nothing about it. That's crazy, bro. Like, what do you do with that, bro? And it's like a gun. Not for real. And people didn't believe people thought that it was fake because they just thought it was like a like a legend until one of like the researchers caught a picture of him on like a trail camp. And that thing was huge, but like it looked like from Planet of the Apes for like he was walking around like a little like the Jeeps and stuff. Like it was crazy. They and, they, and if you look on uh Google, because I think they're like an actual like ape now. If you look on Google, they'll ask like they'll say like how much it weighs. They said like ninety to like eighty pounds, but like there's pictures of it it's next to a grown mu- man. Muscle, bro, that thing nah, they they said it's like maybe like closer to 250, 300, bro. I'm gonna say if it's ninety, that's ninety of pure muscle. Bro. But like, if it was ninety pure muscle, you still look skinny. Nah, yeah. Nah, but like that thing 90. was big, bro. Like it was like it was two guys standing next to it. He was big, bro. So I'm imagine that, bro. We're not messing with them, bro. We is not messing with that. I don't bro. think we messing with any eight, bro. First of all, nah, not chimps, not gorillas. It's just maybe maybe lemurs. <laughs> like even you bro, want, you, want, you want to kill a King Julian for real? Hell yeah, and Mort. <laughs> On him, bro. I don't think Mort is a. He's not a lemur, technically. What is he like? A squirrel? He's. A, I think he's a bush baby. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. Really? I think so. Don't I, quote me on that. I thought he was like. I think he's a bush baby. Mm. But those are those are the only like those bino apes is like the reason why that gives me like a little bit of glimpse of like you know there could be like a a little ape species like that that lives in the caves and we'll never know about it. No, nah, this de- I guess, yeah. Hey, you never know. There's definitely species that we don't know about. Like I remember, I I heard a story. It was um, I don't know. It's, it's allegedly like it was like allegedly true. So you know how when they dem uh demolish buildings and stuff. Uh huh. So I guess they was demolishing buildings in like San Francisco, and it was they was de- demolishing buildings and they accidentally like opened up like a hole in the ground. Yeah. So when they opened up the hole, it was like a cavern. Like usually it's like. You know, just like a ditch, but like it was like a like a little cave. Yeah. So two two of the workers jumped in there, and they said they seen like Dummies. you said what? Dummies. Bro, crazy work. They jumped in there, and they said they seen like like the Bondo ape, six foot yeah. tall ape, just standing there huddled up. And they turned around, looked at him, and screamed. And then they was just ran up out of there. Nah, what are they doing in San Francisco? <laughs> bro, that's what I'm. They could just be under under the the ground, bro. They need to come out to eat or something like. Bro, they you, bro, they you never know. They probably just they probably that's why they probably just hunt at nighttime. Hunt people? <laughs> Not hunt people, but they probably just hunt like like food, like things that live in caves. Like maybe maybe they could kill it. If they could kill, if that bondo ape could kill a lion, whatever these things that maybe live in could kill a deer, a bear. Yeah. Like you never know. Like like I remember a black bear you definitely could take a black. That's bear. what I'm saying. It's like and they, there's there's so many cave systems in like America. Like you could really get lost in them. No, you're right. So you never know. Like, like when I heard that, I was like, uh, that's kind of nuts. But like it was like allegedly, but like who just makes up that weird shit? Anybody can make that up. <laughs> Anybody can make it up, but like what gives a person a reason to if you don't get no bread for it? I'm, I'm the person that's seen the Bondo ape in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> you feel good about yourself? Yeah, tell me I'm not. Uh, oh, my fault. My fault. You true. That's right, bro. You know what I'm saying, tell me. I seen the Bondo ape in Jersey. Oh, you did? Yep. You know, um, I, I uh, solved the, what's it called? The chupacabra, I know what the chupacabra is. What's the chupacabra? So, there was a there's chupacabra. a. Look, look, I'm about to cook you though. This is actually facts. So there was a. I don't know if you ever heard of what a thylacine is. Mm-hmm. I know what you're talking about. Yep. You you remember that story? So mm-hmm. so so the th- thylacine was like a was it like a it was like a cat or like a or like a wolf. It was like wasn't it like a. Uh... It was, it was like something a, it was like an ugly dog, right? It was like an ugly dog, but it was like a it was like a predator in the woods, and it was like one it was a predator in like the wild, and like I think it was like more known like Papua New Guinea, whatever. And they uh, what's it called? They went extinct, I think maybe like a hundred years ago, hundred mm-hmm. hundred fifty years ago. But then, so what people think is that the I think no, it was definitely less than a hundred years ago. It was probably like in the sixties and fifties that it went extinct because I remember. So what they said was that the Bronx Zoo ordered two thylacine. Uh-huh. From the uh, from uh, Papua New Guinea, and it was coming over from the like and coming to lost. New York, and they got I think the ship like it was a shipwreck, yeah, and like the the boat crashed and like all the animals got loose, including the two thylacine. Uh-huh. So they think that the so the chupacabra may be the thylacine. The thylacine they just mated 
because it was a boy and a girl. Yeah. So they might have just made it, and now they're just like populated. Like they just like found their way to like the warmer climates and stuff. That's how it incest. That is. I mean, technically, we all brothers and sisters. Yeah, Shout out, brother Lamar, Lamar man. Said, Lamar said it best. Yes, sir. But I don't know. And ooh, now let me let me trans. Yo, this I was excited to talk to you about this because I know you're really good with like animals and stuff. I got this is a good treat for you, bro. So I got I got another I'm getting happy you're getting horny over there. <laughs> this man's sick. So now let's transition over to the water now. Mm-hmm. So you know, do you know that uh, eels are the only animals on the earth that we don't know where they came from? I didn't know that. Like, as in, like, we don't know how they re- reproduce. Yeah. We don't know where they came from. Because I think sci- scientists have done, like, you know, autopsies and, like, like uh, ob- observations of them. Mm-hmm. And, like, the males and females have no reproductive organs. Yeah. I think I knew that. So, it's like, how do they reproduce? And, like, they tried putting, like, a male and a female in a tank, and but they, they will never yeah. do yeah. nothing. They will yeah. not even talk to each other. Yeah. But they say, but all eels... During a specific time in the year, would all travel, no matter where they are, they will all travel to the Bermuda Triangle, and that's where they meet. Suppose, like, like scientists have proved, have found out that no matter where eel is, yeah. it could be in Europe, it could be on the other side where Japan is in the ocean, it could be in the the freshwater uh, rivers of the United States, yeah. wherever it is. When they're it's all, time to mate, they will the- all go to the Bermuda Triangle. And it's hard for scientists to study them because the, during that time, that's like monsoon season. So yeah. it's too dangerous. So we really don't know where they came from. So it's like, and it's like, I think they did a test where they put um, eels in a bucket or put them in a tank. Uh-huh. And when it was time to mate, they were all swim in the direction of the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah. So it's like, what the hell? Like they have like a clock in their mind. Uh-huh. And it's like, whenever, you know, people have eels as pets, yeah. they will never reproduce. They'll always die off. So it's everybody, that's like the one of the most like biggest mysteries in like the animal kingdom because nobody knows what happened to that, what happens when they mate or what do they do. Yeah, like what y'all do over there. And it's like, you know, people have speculated, right? Because I remember we talked about before, like uh, people think octopuses could be aliens. Uh huh. People think that maybe it's, it could be the same thing as that. Like maybe eels are not from here because there's a theory, I forgot what it's called. It's called, um, there's a theory that's called, Panamera, it's pan, it's pan, Panama, pan, Panamera mm-hmm. theory. And it's basically when, like, like organ, some organisms from Earth didn't originate here, but like, say an asteroid came and hit the planet, yeah. there was like little bits of organisms that survived the crash and they were able to grow on Earth. That's that's what happened with that one species that they found. What species? I forgot. Like they said that this a species they found came out of a, like when a, like an asteroid hit and the species came out. Really? In the water. I forget what it was, but like a couple years back, like we was in college when that happened, Ooh. and they found like it was like a little like a little octopus looking thing. Really? And they, so and they found it like a, a, like a meteor hit or something, mm-hmm. and then they found like a species that came out of the meteor or something like that. Oh, it was like a little a new animal or something. But, so you never. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Really? When we was in college? Yeah, look I it gotta, up. I gotta look that shit up. It was like a little like, like a little like, like a little octopus, like, like maybe this big. Mm, I think I do remember what you're talking about. Because I know I looked up, I looked, I tried to see, like, to see if it, like, matches, like, if any meteors ever crashed in the Bermuda Triangle. And there was one meteor that crashed in the Bermuda Triangle. And it was said to have crashed 65 million years ago. Yeah. And that's when the dinosaurs was gone. Because people think the dinos- the, the meteor that killed the dinosaurs crashed in, like, the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Uh-huh. But there was another one that was just, maybe just as big or a little bit bigger that Where crashed. Where that meteor at? It's probably in the bottom of the ocean. The one that killed the dinosaurs? Yeah, it's like either Gulf of Mexico or the Caribbean Ocean. Uh-huh. Caribbean Sea. So maybe there was something on that rock that we don't know where it came from. Maybe it came, because even there's like somebody like when somebody went to up to the moon, they found like particles on the moon that was from Earth. Yeah. But they they said that's from like when the a planet smashed into Earth, broke up everything. But like we never know. Like there could be a planet that blows up from Mad Fargo that like you just see asteroids come in and then like they have a little organism like you know how we start off as like little amoebas and organisms yeah. maybe they have little organisms on that thing and with proper nutrients and resources they grow up to be whatever the hell they are that's why because think about it nobody like every type of eel electric eels I, say, that's the, I think electric eels is the only one that have watts like it could have currency in it like how, yeah like how, where does that come from yeah, how can you electrocute in, in water Exa- how can you electrocute me in water and then you create electricity 
Yeah. So, like, where, do you, like, where do you create electricity from? Like, I feel like there's so many there's so many animals on this world that I feel like that are like that could be aliens. Like one of them, I think is like could be is like praying mantis. Why? I don't know why. I feel like they just look funny to you. They look funny. They sus. They look funny, and they I heard they mass strong for their size. Oh, they are. They like for their for like body mass, like whatever. They have like the like they are very strong. And like the way they like it's, consume. Uh, what you call it? A lion shrimp too. Yeah, not a lion. Li- not uh, a lion. Well, you know what I'm talking about the shit that. The one that that, that, that punch, the, yeah, the punches thing. Yeah, they like. Is it bullet? I've, I I seen a video. I forgot what it was called. Is it something shrimp? Right? Something it's shrimp. It's a yeah. shrimp, right? Yeah, it's a shrimp. Yeah, like isn't it like a lion shrimp or something? I can't remember. It was something like that. Like this, like, like is punch. Like if it was like to a human, like it would be like it's the strongest punch force mm-hmm. compared to any animal. Like it could crack. Like it could crack like a, a freaking. It could crack glass if you wanted to. Yeah, but they saying like if it was like a compared to like a, a, a bigger if it was bigger. It, oh yeah, yeah no, nah, we're dead. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Things like that. I think like in the way I feel like it just like and I remember I think people be talking about like they when they see aliens. There's like certain aliens that people see that look like praying mantises. There was one in New Jersey, like like in like North Jersey. There was like a alien sighting in like one of the woods up there. Mm-hmm. Some people think they seen like a giant like praying mantis like in the woods. Well, they all look, their faces. They be looking like they yeah, look like they be looking like uh, bugs or aliens, whatever. And another one I think, which is kind of wild, cats. You think cats are aliens? I don't think they're aliens, but I don't know why. Like certain civilizations have such like a big, like like they they look like at cats as gods, right? Yeah, they look at cats as gods. Like I don't know why. I think that just has to do like with early civilization. Like they probably just thought like you know. Maybe the aliens. I don't know. <laughs> like, like, I, like, I never. I, maybe like, like they're, they're one of the first domesticated animals. Mm-hmm. So they probably like, oh, okay, like this, this thing must be worshipped because it's not like us. But that big, that much though. But yeah, because like, it's not like, like us. So and it and it and it and it like uh, like we're domesticating it. Like we're one of the first domesticated animals. I'm pretty sure. So it's like that is true. But, like, think about, like, this. Like, remember, like, the pharaohs. Like, they had, like, in the hieroglyphics, they had, like, half human, half cat. Half cat. The sphinx. That's, like. The sphinx is the half human, half cat. So, was that, like, them drawing, like, they had masks? No, I think that's the, that they thought their god was a cat. Mm. They thought, oh, this is our god. Our god, our our gods are cats. I don't. (sighs) Probably. probably. But, But it's, like, that that might be true. Because I just think it's, like, and I feel like, because, like, you have a cat. And it's like I know Jay Jay's brother has a cat. And I feel like cats are just so like weird. They're weird as hell. They're weird, but I feel like they are way smarter than they are. But I feel like they just play dumb because they don't want oh, us to yeah. be on to them. Uh huh. I think they they they're definitely like they don't listen, but they know what we they know what we're doing. Like they know what the hell they're uh-huh. doing. But like I feel like they really look like like that. Like this is what I'm thinking in my mind. Like like Perry the platypus. Mm-hmm. They a cat is just like Perry the platypus. Like they're like. Like you don't really know. I could really kill you in your sleep right now. Mm-hmm. But like, I choose not to. I don't want to go yeah, my cover. Like, I love you, nigga. Like, like I love you. I just, I'm just here for some free food or whatever. But really, I'm way smarter than you. Mm-hmm. That's why I be thinking. Like maybe, like maybe. I can it's, see that. It's it's just so weird how they they just be looking at you, just like dissecting you. Like, look at you. Look at you, stupid. I'm smart. I'm way smarter. Than you. You, you don't, don't even know. About know. It. You don't even know what I could do. Exactly. <laughs> you don't even know. Like I, I I haven't been here for ten for like hours. And yeah. I, when as soon as you walk in, I'm already in the crib. You would never know. I, cr- did, I did lost my cat for like ten hours, and she. I just find her under the bed. I was like, "You wasn't here." Same, bro. You wasn't here. You have mm-hmm. a girl cat. Mm-hmm. Freaking Jay's cat, uh, or her brother's cat. We thought he, uh, she was a girl, but it ended up being a, a boy. Yeah, check his parts. We did. You didn't have nothing. Yeah, look. Unless she had a little schmeet schmeet. <laughs> got a little schmeet. Yeah, that's a little schmeet, bro. <laughs> that shit was crazy. But I got. Oh, I got another thing that we could talk about. This is very controversial, but you're the right person to talk about because we're we love controversy on here. Yeah, of course. Give me your opinion on it. If you disagree, you could disagree. If you agree, you disagree. But I think, or I don't think, but there's a possibility that the Kraken was either real I think it was at real. one point, and it could still possibly be real. I, I don't know if it is, but there is. A possi- there's always a possibility with the ocean. So you know what I think the Kraken was? What? I think the Kraken was just a, a giant squid. A giant squid? Yeah. I think so too because, you know, back in the days, like, you know, with the stories, like, if everybody, everybody should know about the Kraken, like, all the fishermen stories about the Kraken in the, wa- in the waters and taking out ships and eating whales. But I remember I heard on Joe Rogan podcast, like, scientists found fossils 
of a giant like suction cup like tentacle uh-huh. but it was like way bigger i mean i believe than, it because like we had megalodons yeah. we had tight like titanoboas we had everything was bigger back everything then. was just bigger so mm-hmm. i believe it like why we had mosasaurus so why we had the uh the tu- 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 what's it just a tucotussus uh, the big octopus Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A tuco, tuco tuckus or something. Yeah, my, my art niggas know what I'm talking about. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, why wouldn't there be a giant squid like, mm. that was that was so big? It could eat like all the whales. Yeah, like that, that. That's that, true, and it's it's weird because it's like, and I know, you know, it might not be a kraken, but it might be like a really really big like either colossal squid or giant squid down there because uh-huh. I know there's been a lot of reports of like. Like whales, cause you know, like you like well, whale- the blue whales, they go down there and they fight giant squid at depths that the the implosion happened. Mm-hmm. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't so, even see them. Yeah, so they they fight they fight so deep that mm-hmm. we're we, yeah you can't even like there's no light even down there, mm-hmm. and they have battles at those depths. Yeah. And then they come up. You feel me? The whales have scars on their face and mm-hmm. stuff. Like they was talking about, like they had like suction cup scars on their bodies, but it was like way big, way bigger than like a. Like a like a giant octopus, and people really thought like 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 is there really like a bigger octopus down there, a giant mm-hmm. octopus? Because like giant octopus get to like what maybe like thirty feet, thirty feet maybe, maybe, maybe a little less, twenty five, like twenty five. Like they were saying like this 25, one, 30, they yeah. were saying the ones that they found were like maybe like a hundred. I mean, if we go by the stats, mm-hmm. we only discovered five percent of the ocean. I know, and it's not so getting bigger. Ninety five percent that yeah. we don't know anything about. Hey, bro. And, and what's the perfect if, if a squid don't because squids don't really come up like they giant don't. squids they don't really come up mm-hmm. from those depths yeah so if a giant squid isn't coming up from those depths why would a kraken exactly that is true that is true unless there is the feed because I've seen and especially the ocean is huge like the ocean like the Pacific Ocean mm-hmm. like between like California and Australia that's just like that's just straight ocean bro. And maybe the little islands here and there, but that's just straight water. So there could be something huge in there. You know what I'm saying, like, like, I, like I, we're not discovering, we're not just, we're not gonna find that. Yeah, that's true. And it's like I remember I seen a video, bro. It was like maybe a couple years ago. A fisherman fished out a twenty foot, um, uh, a twenty foot great white shark or a one of the what's the what was the fastest shark called? The fastest shark. Yeah, what's the fastest shark called? It's called like a. Hammerhead? Not no, hammerhead. No. NATO shark. NATO. NATO. Nerf shark. Not a nerf. That's not a nerf shark. It's something. It's it's a it's one of the it's a, it's a big shark. So uh-huh. it was like maybe 15, 20 feet long, but it was only the head. Yeah. And the rest of the body was like bitten off. So it was like, all right, this is kind of weird. Like, what we'll is bi- this shit. <laughs> what is biting this fish like uh-huh. in half? Like it's not like it bit like it's not like something attacked it and like bit chunk. It bit the whole thing in half. Yeah. So they're like, okay, that's kind of weird. And then recently. There was a pod of pilot whales, a hundred of them. They was in Australia. They kept swimming and beaching themselves. And when the people would come and save them and like bring them back into the water, they would just keep coming back uh-huh. and and beaching themselves until and like fifty of them died. And they had to bring the rest of them and put them in captivity. Yeah. And the scientist was like, "This is really weird because usually whales only beach themselves if it was like, it was it was like if it was like bad navigation, like the the leader of the whales is just going in the wrong direction yeah. is by accident, or if there's like hunting off the shores." And they're just like trying to get away from what's hunting what's them. killing them, yeah. So they're saying like there had to be something that was like a, they were saying like a great white shark was not able to do nothing like that. Yeah. One great because there was like a hundred of them. Uh huh. Pilot whales like they're big as hell. Yeah. So it's like, what are they afraid of that they're really trying to like kill themselves over? Uh-huh. Or like like they're trying to get away from that bad if it's if it's a hundred of them. Yeah. Like think about how big of what is hunting them down unless it's. Uh, but like sharks don't really hunt in groups for real. They don't. No. So that's what, more of an orca thing. That's a, yeah, that's an orca thing. But like still though, killer whales for those killer animals. whales. Yeah. Like what is out there that's that big, that is either hunting them down or just like chasing them into killing themselves. There could be something. The kraken. No. I nah. Don't know. <laughs> it might be the kraken. I don't know. I. You think it's more Meg- likely? Megalodon's back. <laughs> no, I don't think. I would rather. I would. I could see kraken more than megalodon. Me too. They said the megalodon died because it was just eating everything. Yeah, and I feel like you could, you we would notice that yeah. because they're not on the depths of the ocean, like yeah, they're how, on but the like surface. they're yeah. on the surface for like the the kraken and the colossal squids. They could stay down there. He could that the kraken could eat all the other big squids and be uh-huh. cool. And whatever, like even um, 
they could it could eat the the dead whales like when they float down to the bottom yeah, after uh-huh. they die and shit. They could eat the dead blue whales they'd and they'd like, be cool. Chilling, bro. Like they'll never have to come. We'll never find that thing. Uh-huh. But just imagine there's a giant one down there. Oh my god! I remember. I think somebody asked a the question. They was like, "Would you rather?" Know what you've been lied to, or would you uh, rather yeah, would know you, the secrets? I'd rather know what no, I've been. No, what you've been lied to, or the truth of the world, or something like that. Of, yeah, or like everything about the world. Everything about the world. I want to know everything about the world. You would know everything about the world. Yeah. So you want to know if there's like a cracking or something? I want to know if I've been lied to. God damn, let me gulp that shit. That's some good water, bro. Hey man, uh, it's just I feel like I feel like that's why there's like certain certain like. Uh, boating routes that you're supposed to take, and you so can't you're not supposed to run into shit like that. So you not so you don't run into shit. either. Uh-huh. You can't run into it or run into like bad weather also. Yeah. So you never know. It's always it's always weird in the ocean, bro. Like you never know what is in there, bro. So people be careful. The people that are stranding out right now, you're watching our video. I hope you get back home, bro. <laughs> Bring back some bubble gum shrimp. Yeah, bubble gum shrimp. Bubble gum shrimp company. Damn. All right, I got another question, bro. Hey, bubble. Damn, I was so sad when he died, man. Oh, it's, it's tragic, bro. He had to kill the black man. Of course. But, but I want... I you know that's supposed to be Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle cut, turned it down. Really? Yeah, he turned it down because he, was, he didn't want to play a retarded dude. He wasn't retarded. He just had a lisp. He wasn't retarded, bro. He just talked funny. But, but he just had a big... He got big gums. He was retarded. Oh, he wasn't... Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he wasn't, wasn't special. He just had big gums. <laughs> he like there. But, all right. Oh, I got I got a would you rather question about the animals now. So would you rather switch all prehistoric animals with all the animals that we have on Earth or every animal in the world will decrease by 25% every year until they go extinct? Damn, now I got to replace them. You got to replace them? I mean, they're going to disappear by event. Like, mm-hmm, they're going to disappear eventually. Yeah, I just replace them. I mean dinosaurs and everything, right? Dinosaurs, them giant bears. Now I replace them. Like We're not surviving that, though. We got guns. We got guns, but like a lot of us gonna die off. Yeah, the, and it's not even the guns that. I mean, you know, I'd rather do that. I feel like we could probably, you know, corral them, but like there's gonna be ones that gonna let off and they're just gonna destroy the the freaking like just start breaking stuff. Yeah, the, like the ecosystem. <laughs> like imagine a herd of like like um, what's those things with like the. Those dinosaurs with the 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 they be headbutting each other. Triceratops. Yeah, no, not triceratops. The ones that they like, they're like they walk on two legs and they actually like head. They have like head. Oh, patches. Yeah, imagine those things run through the streets like like uh-huh. freaking. Oh my god, we're done, bro. Yeah, be- we're, we're cooked. But I think I'd rather do that because I I heard I I seen a video. They said if every animal on Earth disappeared, like the world will go into chaos. Yeah. Because when we our food would go like they said in like in a year we're already in like an apocalypse. You're gonna have to start looking, eating veggies and stuff. Not even that, because like you can't. There's like we're talking about bugs too. So like the bees not gonna be able to pollinate the oh, flowers. You're right. So like yep. the crops are not gonna be able to grow. Right. Freaking. There's a bit. Yeah, there's a lot of things that the animals like control, like regulate that. Exactly. Like, that we just don't you feel me really care about. Mm-hmm. They was talking about a lot of animal. Like a lot of us gonna get depressed because we won't have no like animal support, like uh, support animals with us. So people, if you have a dog, you have an animal, you have a give it a hug and kiss. Give it a hug and kiss. You have an anaconda, give him a kiss. If you got an anaconda, you better not give it a kiss. Hey man, nah, you didn't catch it. You gay. (laughs) Gay. You got an anaconda. If you give it a kiss, you're crazy. This man's mookie, bro. But all right, bro. I got another segment, which everybody always loves. I got the would you rather segment and random questions. Are you ready to yeah. answer some would you rather? Do you have anything you want to talk about or you want to? Uh, I guess we could save it. You want to save it to the end? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So would you want a would you rather question or would you want a a, reg- a different topic question? I'll take the would you rather for now. Would you rather? Okay. So I, really I got some good would you rather for you too. This is, yeah. yo, mm-hmm. you, you got a, you had a great pod, bro. I'm a really W host, bro. So, would you rather you have to survive one of these beatings for five minutes, survive being jumped by seven crackheads, <laughs> and one of them has a needle? Oh nah, don't know what's on the needle. It could be AIDS. It could be heroin. He's going. He's got that needle on him. Or survive being jumped by five inmates, and three of them have Glock Dookies. What is a come on? What's a Glock Dookie? You don't know what a Glock Dookie is, bro? Nah. Let me educate you, my brother. <laughs> what is a Glock Dookie? A Glock do- for all my people, uh, audio listeners and video listeners alike, 
if you don't know what a Glock Dookie is, it is actually is basically a, the gun of prison. So what they do is they get a an empty toothpaste can, uh, empty toothpaste bottle, and they fill it up with the nastiest things possible: doo doo, piss, nut, spit, expired milk, anything that they can find, and they go around. And you got your ops. Dang, I don't got a shank on me. I got the Glock Dookie on me though. Spray that, th- spray that jaw, bro. <laughs> now he got, now he got, now he's sick. Spray <laughs> like they jump on spraying on his face, spraying his mouth. I gotta look this up when I get it. Bro, Glock Dookies is real, but they got Glock Dookie bombs, bro. A Glock Dookie is ridiculous. You ever heard of? They got a Dookie bomb, bro. It's the same thing, but they put in like the little milk cartons from school. They just said a Glock Dookie, bro. I gotta look this up. Bro. I promise you, you look, you look up Glock Dookie. The first person you go see is just. Hold on, let me see if I can find the video on TikTok. I think I definitely saved it. Like I said, a Glock Dookie. A Glock Dookie. So which one are you picking, bro? So wait, was so I had to get jumped by crackheads or what? Or five inmates, but three of them have <coughs> Glock Dookies on them. Just because I don't want like AIDS, <laughs> I'll take the Glock Dookie. You don't get the Glock Dookie, bro. You might get sick from that. That's I'm po- gonna get sick, but like I'm not gonna like. You can't fight off seven crackheads. I can, but one of them, like seven crackheads, one got a needle, and it, like all- just, just you just gotta scope out the dude with the needle, and just you have I'm to. How am supposed to know which one got the needle? Well, you just gotta see him get it, raise his hand first. It's seven of them. First of all, the inmates, they I didn't say how big they are. They can be big. They might kill you. Nah, I don't care. What you mean you don't care? Let me let me find this. Yo, I'm telling you, bro. Look. Of course he said that shit too. Milk. He loved he loved jail. <laughs> let it sit for a week, bro. Most times, don't you have a cellmate? Yeah. So how's a cellmate put up with a Glock Dookie just marinating right there? In the cell? <laughs> Okay, so now you put together your Glock Dookie because some they use like a fat ass milk car and too, like they got Glock Dookie bombs. Like, Glock <laughs> Dookie bombs, bro. <laughs> a, bomb. a bomb Dookie. This nigga love jail, bro. Like, a bo- it's Rico. It's Rico always, reckless, by the way, people. He could always talk about some shit that's going on. He be making this shit up. Who <laughs> Rico? Yo, what the hell? Bro, nah, Glock, Glock, Dookie, Dookie, Glock bro. Dookie's real, bro. I thought you would know about Glock I'm Dookie. I'm going to ask my pops if you know what a Glock yeah, Dookie is. Yeah, ask me if you know about a Glock <laughs> Dookie, bro, because them things is crazy. I'm not going to lie. I'm fighting them crackheads, bro. I'm not fighting the crackheads. That's Why? Crazy. That's crazy. How's that crazy? Bro, because you got to think about it. Oh, my posture. Yeah, sit up, bro. His mom been making... Hey, Mama Mama Petty, yeah, make she, sure you sit up straight. She, cause said, she said my posture sucks on the podcast. So L, L podcast host. So I'm going to fix my posture. Bro, I'm telling you, a Glock Dookie, bro. They might be. You might have like dudes like like three dudes like Debo beating that's you up. Fi- that's fine, bro. Like, you could die. I can die too. Like if they if I get hit with the wrong shit. What if they? What if the crackhead stab me with some? Bless you. Thank you. What if the crackhead stab me with some fentanyl? Only like, I mean, a little dose could kill you. Nah, uh, I'm telling you, you just gotta. It's only one needle. You just gotta. You're not, Inspect- going to, you're not going to know which crackhead got the needle. Bro. I know, but like you can fight off a good amount of them. You can't, bro. First of all, crackhead shrimp and five inmates is the is the same, bro. No, it's not. Yes, it is. But they're not all like hopped up crackheads. Like some of them might be lean, might be like leaners. Just take out the leaner. What? Like that's what I'm saying. Like the. Nah, I might. I might do the damn the Glock Dookie. That's gonna smell crazy, bro. bro. That's disgusting. That's gonna smell. That's gonna, that's nasty work. The Glock Duke, he's like immediate. That's nasty work. A Come Glock on, bro. Dookie, bro. That's nasty work, bro. Come on, bro. That's nasty. <laughs> that's nasty. Imagine bro. he pin you down, like, yo, get them dookies, bro. And they just start spraying on you, oh bro. Oh my god, that's nasty, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. You're making my stomach hurt. <laughs> the Glock Dookie. Oh. Yeah, bro. So you're not doing so you taking the Glock Dookies? I'm taking the Glock Dookies. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I got another question. Follow up question. Follow up would you rather question? Would you rather for five hundred million dollars when you complete it? Uh huh. You have X amount of time. There's no time limit. You can finish however long. You just gotta complete it. You get five hundred mil. Yeah. It's you have to ride a bike a hundred miles uphill. A hundred miles uphill. Uphill. So I say like a like a forty percent, like a thirty percent, like this. Uh huh. Or no, like this, like 45, 40, 45 degree angle. Yeah. Uphill. Or ride a bike. With the dildo as a seat for a hundred meters. 
This man's crazy. Bro. I got this from a podcast. Shout out to them. Oh, he's crazy. Every time bro. you pedal, it just goes up. I got I'm the up, uphill, bro. Nah, I'm not taking uphill. You're not finishing that. Uh, you crazy, bro. What you mean? So what, you, so, so what you doing? <laughs> Yo, think about it, bro. Uh huh. Talk. Talk to us, Darius. Let me, let me, let me talk to you real quick, talk man. Talk to us, Darius. It will recover. Your, 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 cheek, your yeeks will recover, bro. You're not a mook. You're not a mook. Nah. You put a move on it? <laughs> It's gonna hurt, but it's not. It's not you, like it's you going to dry, huh? You doing the dry? Probably, yeah. But like, look at it. Like, it's not like I'm. Like, I can like, like I'm not gonna be fully sit down. Like, it's not gonna be like like square in my keister. Like, it's not. <laughs> yeah, y'all hear this? Y'all, this y'all host, by the way. <laughs> bro, you gonna you're not gonna finish that. I'm gonna finish it, bro. No, you're not. A hundred miles. I'm gonna finish it, bro. You know how far a hundred miles is? You said I got a limited time. I know, but like, bro, you are gonna die. I'm gonna got this, bro. What you mean you got this? My, my, I'm gonna have the strongest. I right, look, look, look. When he, when he doing that hundred miles, I'm gonna be done already. Mm-hmm. With five hundred million dollars, look now what? And with it, with it, with a dildo up your butt. No, it's not gonna be on my butt no more. <laughs> you gonna take it out? Duh. Like what the fuck? <laughs> that's not gonna stay in my ass. <laughs> this nigga's crazy, bro. Oh, so you not gonna do that? Nah. Well, I thought you'd be the one to do a dildo, bro. After all the shit you said, bro. No, I ain't say nothing. Yeah, y'all know, y'all know, y'all people on the story, y'all know. I ain't, I ain't say nothing. Yeah, 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 bro. All right, I got um. That's gonna hurt, bro. How it's big good. is how big it's is good. Um, average size. Six inches? Yeah. Nah, up it. Nine inches. Nine inches? No. Mm. I nigga, what? That's too easy. What do you mean it's too easy? You 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 can take six what you what do you mean? I'm saying what do you like, mean? I'm saying, like, how do you know easy, that's too easy? It's too easy for you. Like, but like, how do you but how no, do you like, know? You it's cha- easy? Like, challenge yourself, bro. Like, but like how you know that's I not challenging? I don't know. I mean, My butthole hurt right now. Like I gotta take hey, a yo, shit. I gotta take another one too. Nah, me too. But, <laughs> Bro, but like, like what you mean though? No, nah, like six inches is like good for you. Nah, is that what you trying to say? Like six inches is cool for you, yo. Man, that's all you need. Any what next question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at this man, bro. You all right, I have fried. random. You fried me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have random questions and thoughts that I think throughout my day. So I've been creating this list for the past couple months. I got a couple things on here. And I have these questions I ask myself, and I don't really know. I have I don't really have the answer to, but I would mm-hmm. ha- hope that you would either have the answer or like try to understand where I'm coming from. Mm-hmm. All right. So answer one. Um, why? Okay. One thing. It's not really a question, but it is more of a statement. Yeah. Gambling is one of the biggest finesses of money from the poor people. In hu- legal finesses of money for the poor people in human history. I'm not gonna lie, whoever created gambling has to be either an evil villain or the smartest person in the world or somebody that's like freaking really good in psychology psychology. Because or all three. Or all three. Because you gotta think about it. These people will make you win something to get you hyped. Uh-huh. And now you're gonna keep now you're gonna keep playing and now you lost all your bread. I think I, I give you a good I give you a personal example. The uh, fan duel, bro. Mm-hmm. They give you the bet five dollars, you get two hundred free. Mm-hmm. You win the five dollars, you're like, hold on, I got two hundred. Mm-hmm. You hit that two hundred, you're like, hold on, I hit this bet, like, I'm gonna keep going. Yep. And now you're you're not stuck in that cycle, like you're stuck in that cycle. They know, like, I right, you're gonna lose. Like, exactly. They know, like, you're I, not gonna no, you're not gonna stay positive. You're gonna lose anything with a probability of you losing higher than like one percent. You should not be doing like losing bread. You're like, gonna lose. Like they're you're gonna, gonna lose. They're like, all right, let's give them this free money. We're gonna get it back in blood. But they make you, if he doesn't quit. <laughs> like they make you think that like okay, you're only you're only spending a dollar, but you you can win eighty dollars. So if you keep putting that dollar in over time, that you're gonna be like, ah, right, you know what? Oh, I won that dollar, I got eighty, now I'm gonna put like fifty. Yeah, I'm gonna put like oh, oh my god. I just want fifty. Like think about how much bread. Oh, I just want I just want hundred. How many how much money you think people have gambled and lost, like in total in like the world? Trillions of dollars? Way probably way more than that, bro. More than more than trillions? I don't even know what like a gazillion? I don't know what's pat definitely trillions, bro. Wow. Cause that's crazy. like okay. I don't wanna put your business. Think about out. how many Would you put your business out there? Yeah. How much? How much money you think you lost betting in, in your lifetime? Over five thousand. Oh, five. Okay, that's not bad. I, I've mm-hmm. I've heard people say like ten, twenty. Like in total. Yeah. I think I probably lost like five. I mean, a whole like maybe five. Don't you have like a like a um a log or whatever on there? Like it shows you like how much. You, I don't look at that. Oh, you don't get that? I said I don't look at that. Oh, oh, you haven't looked at it. No. Do you want to look at it? I know. I know what the number is. What I just is don't it? look at. It's like five something. So like you've lost five thousand, 
But it shows you how much 20, you, since twenty twenty. Yeah. yeah. But like, how does it show you like your winnings? Mm-hmm. How much you won? I'm in like the I'm I'm like I said, I'm like I'm in a hole like maybe like four or five thousand. So I, <laughs> I think it said nineteen. I think it said total winnings was nineteen. Total total bets was like twenty twenty three twenty four 24, or something like that. Oh, okay, so so you you bet wait twenty four what twenty four hundred thousand twenty four thousand dollars yeah you bet twenty four thousand so dollars I started in twenty twenty but Corey I'm thinking you said you bet only five thousand how much you that I said how much you put into it um so it's on my account it says total is total winnings is nineteen yes that's how you you won nineteen thousand dollars in five yeah. years wow it's crazy and I bet a total of twenty four. Or twenty three. Oh, so you're five. So I mean, I lost five thousand. Five thousand. Oh, oh, okay. I said lost. I meant yeah. like how much like money you put in. So you put you put twenty four k into that shit. That's like, but a lot of it is winnings. Yeah, yeah, like winnings so, and free. It's like free so, money. So, like, so like a lot of it is I'll win. Yeah. And then I'll take out what I bet, mm-hmm. and then double down on my winnings. Uh and then because it's basically free. Basically, yeah. Like, basically, not don't exist. Yeah, like I didn't. Yeah, I didn't lose that money. Mm-hmm. Like I did technically because I won it, but I didn't really like. It didn't come out of my bank account. But th- that's crazy. Now yeah. think about it. You they got twenty four k off of you. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't I only. I don't. I don't bet crazy. I bet exactly. like ten dollar max mm-hmm. fifty dollar bets. So imagine a new a, a random dude. He'd be betting like a hundred dollars each time. Nigga, I get this group chat that I'm in, bro. Like, what? what they niggas just be bugging in there, bro. Wow, that's crazy. Like all I'm the t- discords I'm in, bro. Like they be wilding in there. I'm a, Betting I'm a, is I'm not right back down to slouch. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you can move the mic up a little bit. Damn, I moved your mic. Are you good? You just uh, just flat out like this. Oh, that's how. It, hey, yo, that was crazy. Yeah, bro. There you go. Feel better? Yeah. All right. Pause. So, <laughs> so now. Damn, she not. Yeah, G sleep. <laughs> so now I got another question that I've thought about. How do they build oil rigs? I never thought about that. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, like I was thinking about that the other day because you got to think about it. Isn't it like oil in the ground? There is, but it's like, so do they go all the way down there? Because like they're in like, they're in the middle of the ocean. Like how deep is that thing? Like, like do they like bring like boats and then they drop it down? Like I, a, I couldn't tell you. Like that's know. what I'm saying. Like how the fuck? Like I, I, know. I know there's deep sea welders, but it's like how many what welders? A job. That's a, they get bread though. They get bread. Yeah, probably how many times they probably died. Yeah, they be seeing a lot. They said they be seeing a lot of crazy shit down there, like the colossal squids. They be seeing mm-hmm. that shit down there, but it's like, like where do they get? Like how do they put that down? Like I don't be know. Like that's one of the craziest things. I, I never thought about that. I don't know. That's wild, bro. And another yeah, one I thought can't of. Can't give you an answer. I don't know, bro. Some of these you might not be able to give me an answer, bro. How do they set up cranes in the city? Like when they was Scott for skyscrapers. Damn, you like you see them, but you never see them put them down. You never see them put them up. I never seen I never seen a crane. I always just see a crane up here. Yeah, I don't know. Like I don't like Jawan. Jawan told me he was like they put them on like the side and they raise them up. I'm like that thing gotta be heavy as hell. They have they have to do it like that. But like I like I did me personally, I never seen that. Me neither. He's the first person that ever told me like he's seen it. So I was like okay, maybe maybe it's something. Maybe it's something. I just gotta I gotta look more deeper. Never seen it. it. All right, another one. Why don't eggs taste like chicken? Because it's not it's it's an undeveloped chicken, but it's like a, we're eating embryos. We're not eating like flesh yet. Oh, okay, so it's like they're not developed to get that new taste. That's what I'm saying. Like that's a, that's like saying like why like if you if you took a bite out of me like I'm I'm taste like some meat. Mm-hmm. If you took a bite out of, of out of me as an embryo, it's gonna taste like a yolk. Ah, okay, okay. It's not developed. Okay, yet. I don't okay. Have flesh, yeah. It's not. There's no flesh. That on makes it sense. Yet. That makes sense. Nigga's it's good. Nigga's like it's cooking right now. Yes, you sir. Know, yeah. All right, we learning. We learning. Now, how do they play music on CDs and record players? Isn't it the needle that go like this? Nah. Yeah, but like, how is there music in that? I don't know. Like, how does that freaking work? And how does that one needle, like, play the music? I never understood that. I don't know. Like, I'll just be thinking, I'll be looking, I'm like, how the hell is this? Like, even like a disc for a game, like, how is there a whole game on here? Yeah, I don't know. Like, that makes no sense to me. That like I was thinking, I'm and like, then you could just buy it, like, and you could game. just buy, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You could just like, buy what, what, it on the on the PS5, yeah. and it's cool. What but it's pro, like, what program am I <coughs> buying? That's like, I have the game now. Exactly. Oh man, bro. <sighs> There's so many questions. I have access to. I mean, I have. I mean, I have access to all the games. Mm-hmm. And all I gotta do is press a button to to get it. Mm-hmm. But like, it's there. Yeah, it's there. But like, how is? I gotta unlock them. You gotta unlock. Oh. 
fat. Like they're all, um, they're, they have, have access to all of them. You do. You just got to unlock them. Wow. How is that there? Maybe that's maybe the internet. Maybe. Damn, this nigga, nigga gulping. Hey, yo, bro, relax, relax, bro. <sighs> Had to check that water. Real it was quick. not Drink. that good, bro. It's busting. It's great water, spring water. Drink our water, kids. All right, another one I have. Um, why do we turn the clock back on daylight savings? I I, I don't know, bro. Because now, stupid, bro. now think about it like this, right? We honestly create daylight savings ourselves because you got to think about it like this: if we never turn that clock back, say, say the sun sets. At 7 p.m. year round, mm-hmm. but we always put it a, an hour back. It's so, like we're the only, are we the only country that do that? Exactly. Like, why the hell do we do that? I don't know. Like, are they trying to like trick us or something? Like, are they trying to like, like do it? Like, it's like because by turning the clock back, it's not changing the the sun. Yeah, it's, from it's setting our mental. But you know what I mean? Our mental calendar or whatever. Yeah, it's not changing nothing. Oh well, it's probably yeah, it's just changing like our sense of like what the time it is now. Cause like I feel like they do that because they want to show like yeah during the season it gets darker but really it don't like yeah at just, least at least here I mean it's technically like if you didn't turn the clock back it wouldn't it wouldn't get exactly it wouldn't get dark we're doing that manually so why do they like but what, do you realize though like when it's time for daylight saving time like before they actually turn the clock it it do start get like it start get like it be it, it usually get dark around eight yeah yeah get yeah, dark yeah. Around seven yeah no no I know get that dark around six the reason because of that is because. We're further away from the sun, our side. But I'm saying like the oh yeah, but oh yeah, that makes sense. That's the only reason why, because like when we wrote, it's like when we rotate around the sun, like the the eastern hemisphere is now on the sun side. That's why they get summer, we get winter. Uh huh. But it's also weird because I don't fucking I don't know. It gets weird. And now last one, how do they how do they understand animal senses? What you mean? So I mean, right? You know how they say eagle eyes? They can see things a mile away. Yeah. How can they? Test that. The same way you could you could take somebody's eyeball. I don't know. I'm lying. Like, let me make something else. I don't, like, I don't know. Like, I, I was I was arguing this about that at work with Jawan and Alex. And I was like, yo, and e- they say eagle eye is like you can see they can see clearly like a mile away. So like, do they see that all the time, or can they just lock in on something? They probably see that all the time. And so does just... it? So doesn't that mean everything is closer to them? No, they probably just have enhanced like. That's like if you can, that, if I have good eyesight, like right now, like I can see that that says Rolo over there. But until I look at it, I'm like, oh, okay, it's Rolo. I know, but, but like, I can see it. Like, but like, think about it. They said a mile. Yeah, that like I can like right now, I can see that. Like, I know, but, but like, imagine you could see that a mile that's away. What I'm saying, but like, I can see it. Like, I don't have to look if I'm not looking at it. I'm not, I'm not paying attention. That's what I'm saying. It. You gotta focus. Like you gotta like lock in on. That's it. what I'm saying. Maybe yeah. In. If I just look at it, like okay, wait. Like, you know, I'm, you have to focus I, on. I it. need to see that shit. Okay, I can see it now. Like, but like, how can you? But like, are they looking at it clearly, or do they just see a an image of a box? Because you could put, I could put this box like on a on a straight line, like a mile away, and you yeah. can still see the box on the middle of the road. But you're not gonna see it clearly. Is that what the eagle see? I don't know. Like, how do we know that dogs see black and white? They don't. Oh, that's a myth. Yeah, that's a myth. Oh. Dang! Thank you for debunking that for me. I yeah. thought they always seen black and white. What do they see? Colors? They see the same. Yeah, they see. Why colors. the fuck they see? They be trying to see. They be trying to gaslight us. And I know it's I, and, I, and I know it's not a myth because I'll at work I'll pick up a dog's leash, and they'll know it's the all the pink leash is mine. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, the red one is mine. See, bro, it's like they be trying to gaslight us. Like, remember mm-hmm. when they taught us in school like animals hibernate and they sleep for like six months straight and they never come out? Well, bears, but yeah, but they don't, they don't, they don't sleep. But they, they, I mean, they sleep, but they be up though. That's what I'm saying. But I didn't know, but they said they sleep. Like, they don't wake up. No, nah, they wake up. They well, didn't tell some us crocodiles do. Some crocodiles will, like, stay frozen. Until, oh, yeah, no, I've seen that. But they, like, where is that at? Like, where's crocodiles where it be frozen at? I don't know. Like, what the fuck? I thought only crocodiles. But bears, though, if you, like, if you run up on a bear and while it's hibernating, that's, that nigga might be up. Oh, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, I thought, oh, what about even squirrels? Don't they, like, hibernate underground and stuff? Or, like, a, yeah, but, like, they be up, though. Like, they don't. I didn't know that. They said, nah, they, they sleep. Like they don't tell us the full story or shit. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, no, nah, they be up. Like they don't, they, they ain't just sleeping through the whole thing. Like, they be up. Dang, bro, some weird shit, bro. Y'all, nigga, y'all just lying to us, bro. Like I said, I want to know the truth, bro. And I got one last segment we could talk about. So I have a question that I got from Reddit. And yeah. I'm just, we're just gonna react to the the answers that they have for the questions. Uh-huh. So the question is, what small curse would you put on your worst enemy to mildly in- inconvenience them, but eventually drive them insane? Yeah. 
So here are some of the replies. Right, I think I think I, I I seen one have a midget, have a midget walk in front of them at a slow pace or something like that. <laughs> what? That's freaking evil. <laughs> but but like life. that a midget. Oh, nah, that would piss me off. So they already got little legs and they're walking slow? <laughs> <laughs> they got little legs and they're walking slow. That thing's just like this. Like a little penguin just for the rest of his life. Nah, I can't. I can kick that. I'm going to kick that dude over. I'm going to go crazy. I ain't gonna, I would not want to walk. Well, <laughs> Imagine that. Just, like, he just, like, you're just walking on Times Square. And you just see you just see the, the midget like speed up like behind you and then gets in front of you and just starts going like mad slow now. Yeah, just like. Just waddling. Like, get the fuck away like, from me. Like, move, man. <laughs> All right, here's one. Never, never get a green light. Damn. So you got every red light. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, so you were never gonna get like. I mean, you can't you just can't drive. No, but like, say like every time the light turns green, uh-huh. like say on a street that has mad lights, the yeah. next one turns red. Damn. So you're just continuously stopping. Oh, that's that's so ass. <laughs> that's so bad, bro. Just imagine. Like I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run them shits, bro. <laughs> now you're just gonna be. Run, now you're just gonna be in prison, bro. You're gonna run somebody over. They said, um, they said whenever they open a new web page, it doesn't load quickly. The oh, moment yeah. they hit refresh, they see the loaded page for a split second before the page proceeds oh. to refresh. <laughs> that happens to me all the time, bro. Oh my <laughs> god, that is gonna piss me off. Oh my gosh, bro. Well, the, you, that would mess you up. Yeah, that, that, that'll get me, bro. Ah, uh, okay, okay. It says they got a strong sense of deja vu every time they poop. Ask ask around. This has never happened to anyone. It would drive you insane, and no one would believe them if they tried to communicate it. I don't get it. Hold on. It says, I think that was a joke. It says, who gets deja vu? They cooked me. Uh, Every time they eat popcorn, a kernel gets stuck between their tooth <gasps> and their gums in a really hard spot to reach. Oh, man. That's, the, that's, ter- that's terrible. I'll just never eat popcorn again. Oh, oh my gosh. This one says, no matter how often, no matter, no matter how often, no matter, no matter the material they were made out of, no matter how well or double or triple tied they were, use of glue or any me- mechanical restraint, the right shoelace will always, within thirty to ninety minutes, come untied. <laughs> Yo, y'all are weird on Reddit. You gotta tie your shoes every ninety minutes. That's every ninety minutes, bro. That's ass. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Every little thing that they do. Getting right. Oh wait, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. The fact that you even wrote all that, bro. <laughs> I know. Like, y'all just getting weird, bro. Can you think of any? I heard one that was like, every time you sit down to watch TV, the remote's always in another room. Oh, my God. That'll piss me off. <laughs> that'll piss me off. That'll piss bro. you off? That'll piss. I can't think of one right now. Hold on. Let me. I'm still looking through. There's a lot. They always have to poop right after the shower. Oh, my God. That's so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, just, I just washed my ass, bro. Now you got, I got, the, now I got the shitty butt. Yeah, bro. Oh my god! I think you get to brush your teeth. You got no toothpaste. Nah, that's ass. Ooh. Oh, every, every time, every time you go to sit down, wipe your ass. There's no toilet paper. Oh man! Now you gotta call your dad, like Daddy needs some yeah, toilet paper, bro. Like every time you get the wipe. Oh, what if you what if you home alone? Now you gotta walk around yeah, the house you with a doo doo butt. They get some toilet paper. Oh, you gotta walk around like this. You can't spread your legs too much. It's gonna wipe on your ass ooh. cheek. Ooh, ooh, nasty. Especially after a wet one, yucky. Uh, hold on. Wait, it wasn't in the. Every time you turn your PlayStation, you, the, you gotta reset the Wi Fi. Oh, oh <laughs> my god! You already know that feel that that thirty second wait. You gotta, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Sitting here like this <laughs> They said their socks Are forever wet Oh my god That's terrible I hate You ever have what, I, I get wet socks a lot I, I had to wash the dogs Unexpectedly Yeah That's terrible Oh my gosh bro uh, Every time they walk Their footsteps are replaced With the sound of clown horns That's, that's squeak, just annoying Squeak 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 That's squeak, just squeak. annoying I'll get I'll, I'll go crazy I ain't gonna lie Uh Wait, let me see. Only you can hear, so he's always... Take- I should have wrote some of the good ones down. Every dog they encounter. It says, every dog they encounter humps the mess out of their legs and will not stop unless physically restrained. <laughs> I'll be able to get your dog, bro. <laughs> that will be terrible for me. Nah, that will be so... Because you got Bishop. Bishop not going to stop. Well, I have a Bishop. I got, like, all the dogs I work with. Damn. Imagine all of them just nonstop humping me. Like, yo, bro. Mm. Get this dog off of me. Oh, I seen one. They said... Oh, I remember what it said. It said, um, at least seven times a day, you will always have a false sneeze. 
Oh my god! I I, I had a cold like three weeks ago, uh-huh. and I would get the false of these. Like, get, get out Imagine of me, seven times seven times a day, bro. Oh my Just gosh! Like, <sighs> or get a sore throat every week. Oh, or oh, no, no, the clog get a clog nose every every week. Every week, like your nose clogged up. Yeah, get oh. a clogged nostril. That's oh my gosh, terrible. I'll get. I'll, there was a thing I seen like they blow a balloon in your nose and like. Releases their sinuses. Yeah, that's, uh, that I'm, sucks. I ain't doing that shit. How about how about um, how about always feeling like you have to use like take number two. That 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 that's, that that feeling is something you always got to take a doo doo. Oh, but you don't got to. But you don't got to. That's terrible. Oh my god! How about being constipated? I think being constipated is one of the worst things, huh? I've never been constipated. Bro, I been nah, I remember one time I've been. I don't con- think I have. All right, I'm gonna tell this story on the pod, but it stays on the pod, people. You know, yeah, so if you made this far, you got a good treat because some of y'all don't, don't like to watch till the end. But if y'all made this far, you got a good treat. So I was constipated. I've had food poisoning and I had really bad constipation one time. So one time I, I was constipated, right? It was maybe, I, I hope it wasn't in college. It might have been like freshman year of college. Freshman year of college, like. That's when you wasn't talking to nobody either. You can't even go, yo, let me use your bathroom. Nah, no, no. I was, I was home. Oh. So like I woke up from the middle of the night. My stomach was hurting. I couldn't use the bathroom. Like, and it was like a pain to where like. Every time I like sit up, it would be sharp in my stomach, uh-huh. and like I was just had to use the bathroom, but I couldn't like it was like really like constipated. So I was like, I was like, bro, I was so in much in much, so much pain, bro. I told my dad like, yo, dad, I got like I'm constantly like, it's really bad. He's like, ah, right, let's go. We went to the pediatric care, like uh, yeah, we went That's to like, your grown age. Bro. <laughs> I was like 17, 18. I might have been a senior in high school, so I remember. <laughs> so I went to the pediatric care. So they talked. They um. They uh they told me what happened. You just constipated, whatever. I'm like, yeah, okay, I know. But like, can you give me pills? He's like, nah, there's not really pills. You just gotta like wait it out. I was like, nah, I can't. Like, I can't even go to sleep. So he's like, all right, we got this one thing that you can do. I was like, what is it? They got it. You know the douches? Oh, uh, you did it? Yeah. You got a douche up your butt? <laughs> they gave me a thing, and it was like you put water in it, and you put up your butt, and then you squeeze the water. And it's supposed to like like break up the particles in your butt, and, like help you doo doo. And it was like, we could do it for you. I was like, give me that little shit. And I brought it home and I was in that bathroom and I was laying in the laying in the laying on the floor. And I was just like, my stomach hurt so bad. I'm just like, fuck. <laughs> you did it? I did it. I did it. <laughs> oh nah, Darius, you're not my man no more. <laughs> that's why you went to, that's why you take that's why you always take the dildo with the bike. <laughs> nah. That's why that's why you take the dildo with the bike. Nah, don't put that on me, bro. No, but that would you be, put bro. the douche up your butt, bro. It wasn't even. I didn't put put it fully on my butt, but it was like like tipping. Nah, nah, not my nigga Darius. <laughs> I was so bad. My dad was like, "Yo, he's like, Darius, you want me to help?" I'm like, "No, bro. I don't know. <laughs> yo, let me." He's like, "All right." He was laughing at me and shit. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, yo, don't help me. Hey, oh yo. my gosh, bro. I was so bad. I felt so emasculated. That's bro. bad, bro. That was bad, but that was bad juice right there. I, I would have just, I would have been like this, like just some prune juice or something. Bro, I tried, bro. I tried everything. It didn't work. It was like two o'clock in the morning, bro. There was nothing open. I had no. Did it work at least? It worked. I was doing oh, it. Nah, that's bad. It was. I felt it, such. A, I just so, gave you a douche. Yeah, that was crazy work, bro. This podcast, this is where this podcast is going. I'm gonna give me y'all, give me y'all insight in my life, bro. I didn't even know about that one. Yeah, Mm-mm-mm. but uh, you got any last things to talk about before we end the I got, pod? I got two. What you got? So I seen this theory on TikTok. Uh huh. That says, repeat, everybody that that has dunked or embarrassed Wimby mm-hmm. has either crashed out or got got injured. I think I did see that. Kai Jones dunked on him. Oh yeah, and he crashed out. He started, out. So started tweaking. Mm-hmm. Saint Goon dropped forty five on him. And he freaking yeah. out for the year. Uh, and B dropped, dropped seventy on him. Out for the season, the regular season, regular season. Yeah. Uh, who else? Uh, who else did him dirt? John Morant dunked on him. Oh yeah, out for the, the season. Year. Uh, who else did him dirt, bro? I think that was it because they were saying like Trace Jackson Davis just dunked, dunked on him. On him and he and said he's about like, to be out of here. Yeah, they said about his career about to be out of what here. What do you think about that's weird though? That is crazy because because right? okay, at first it was like you know it's a it's a coincidence with Ky- like nobody peeped it after the first two, but then when Shane went up, down, seventy six just picked up Kai Jones too. Yeah, no, I peeped. So that's crazy work, but it's like uh, NBA trying to save that. No, nah, I think I think that's just like. Is he bad luck or something? This coincidence. He's protect. He's protected by God, bro. He's yeah. really God sent, bro. Stop dunking on him, bro. Stop dunking. Don't mess with him. Don't dunk on him. Don't you score thirty on him. Don't see, score forty five. Don't score you see, fifty. You see, when being that paint, just let it rock. 
Man, he protected by he protected by the NBA. He protected by the Lord Himself. That and man, but you and they was talking shit about him too. Sang Sangu, and after he dropped forty five, he was just, he's not strong and he's too little. And then he got hurt. I feel bad. Sangu was having a great year. He just this is a, 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 a severe ankle sprain. though. he'll be good. Oh, okay, I thought he like freaking broke his leg. No, nah, no, nah, it's just a severe ankle sprain. He's okay. fine. All right. I think like tore something because the way his knee went, his knee buckled, yeah, his ankle nah, went nah, down. He's fine. Dang, bro. And now I, I, I'm gonna I'm say it live on here because I remember y'all be in the Discord. Me and Corey was arguing about this before. Mm-hmm. I was hating on Wemby before, bro. I wasn't hating on, but I said Chet was better. Wemby got it. Wemby got it. It's it's because you know, I'm not gonna lie. Wemby def- it, bro. Defensively, that you can't get around that guy, bro. Like you really can't get around him. No matter how much you drive, no matter how much you, he's either gonna alter the shot. Or he gonna punch that thing, bro. Mm-hmm. And like it's like I was, you know, average three point four blocks, three point four blocks season, a game bro. as a rookie is crazy work, bro. And it's like should be deep boy. Nah, he's if definitely. He was, if it wasn't for Rudy, he's not. If he wasn't on the losing team, he would have. Yeah, let's say he was on the, on the Cavs or the Knicks. Oh yeah, no, he would have. Easy deep boy. Who who else would have been the first overall pick? The Pistons or something? It was like if it was like Pistons, Houston. Magic, no Magic. It was Houston. Houston. He was happy as hell he ain't go to Houston. If he was if he's on OKC, come on, bro. He right. He would be probably been defensive player of the year, I'm not gonna lie. If he, if he was on OKC, bro, they would be serious contenders, bro. Yeah. But they like they're gonna get bounced out like the second round. I don't think so. They ain't gonna make the conference finals? Mm, if everything falls how they may, they're they could beat they, they not be they not beating Denver, bro. No, nah, I don't think they Nah, like they Bro, I, I'm not gonna lie. They're low key, like, could be equivalent to Russ and them. I'm I'm calling them right now. They're getting bounced at the second round this year. I say I, I think they can make if if SGA has a great pay, playoff performance. Like he's averaging 27 plus. Mm-hmm. He can make it to conference finals. I'm predicting it now. I'm predicting it right now. All right. Remember, I said it here first. Bounce up, they're getting bounced at the second round. Okay. In okay. six. In six. Mm-hmm. Okay. I say they get losing the conference finals in five. To the Nuggets. How about Timberwolves? No, nah, I don't think Timberwolves gonna make it. I think Timberwolves gonna be the one to beat them. Oh, you think so? Second round. Anthony Edwards going stupid. I love Anthony Edwards. Me too. Bro. That's that dog, bro. Dan, never mind. Cat just tore his meniscus. He did. Never mind. After the year. After this, after like a, but like after a meniscus tear, you think you coming back? Like, I mean, Russ. Oh yeah, he came. Russ tore his meniscus in the beginning of the year. He came back. Yeah. This yeah, like he, like he coming back right before the playoffs. They got Nas Reed. Big na- my big Nazi, big jelly, keep fucking up my parlay. <laughs> did you guard that nigga? Huh? No, you guard Nick Richards. I guarded him. Oh, you did? He fried you? Nope. How many bucks he had on you? It was a summer league game, so like I don't, I don't know. What summer league? Fall ball. Uh, in Patterson. Uh, okay, okay. All right. He nah. didn't fry me though. He didn't fry you? Hell no. Did anybody ever fry you? No, nah. I don't think I don't think there's ever been one person that ever fry me ever. I remember. See, I remember when we used to play him for. Uh, uh, we played Roseville Catholic for like in the season. It was funny, cause I remember we there was one time it was like my junior year maybe, and we was in the game. Mm-hmm. We we was like we was down by five at halftime. We was like we think we was good. He was like they weren't playing serious, cause niggas did a full court diamond press. Uh-huh. They had Nas in the front. They had uh you know you remember Nate? Yeah. They had Nate right here. Mm-hmm. They had that dude uh Khalil Whitney right here. They had big uh they had one of the big dudes back there, and then they had the guard in the middle. Yeah. Steel, steel dunk, steel dunk, steel three, steel three, down by twenty within four minutes. Damn, not cool. I mean, yo, remember we played? I remember, uh, Ruck, not Rutgers, Teaneck. We played St. Ants with Jacob Mowgli, yeah, R.J. Cole, yeah, uh, Shy Gibbs, and I don't remember. I don't remember anybody else on that team, but yeah. with that team, bro, bro, it was like the first end of the first quarter, I think. Yeah, end of the first quarter, bro. I think we was either up one or down two. Mm-hmm. And we going stupid, bro. Yeah, we going to slay the dragon, cause like it's, it's TOC. Yeah, we we are fine. Like we're like, oh, we in this, bro. Like, feel me? Uh huh. Bob Hurley called a timeout. And Is that when they won the whole thing? Mm-hmm. Okay, Bob that's the undefeated season. <clears throat> I'm not sure if they're undefeated, mm. but Bob Hurley called a timeout. Mm-hmm. And I I I was I, I wasn't playing. I was I was like a little hurt, so I wasn't really playing. So I look I look I'm, I'm nosy. I'm looking. He didn't say one word. He just stared at them. <laughs> Called a timeout and stared at them. That's it? <laughs> For the full 30, 45 seconds, just stared at them. Wow. And then they just Timeout started. ended, 
He put the same five out. Mm-hmm. He didn't say a word. He didn't make an adjustment. He didn't do anything but stare at them. They went on a 37 to 0 run on us, bro. 37 to, to zero. 0 run. The the and we ended that happened at the end of the first quarter. We didn't scare, we didn't score again to the end of the second quarter. Wani hit a buzzer beater. Wow. That's crazy work, bro. 37 to 0. That fast, bro. I was like, damn. And bro. Yeah, I mean, like like, Cor- like Corey's Corey's high school team was better than mine. Them they, they won like rings and shit. We I was like I was a normal. This was TLC. Yeah. I was like, damn. TLC is the tournament chat, like when you win states and stuff. Bro, I remember like my senior year, the one of the like we like every time we played Rosa Catholic, like one, if we played them at home, the next year we play them uh, at the Yeah, they played them twice a year. It was in your conference, right? Yeah, but I don't remember. I feel like we only played them once because that's when they started getting like the national schedules uh-huh. and stuff. So they didn't really play like they used us as like their practice. Yeah. I remember one time we like the my senior year, I'll never forget. We was playing them at at their crib. Bro, we couldn't score nothing, bro. It was so hard to score on them big dudes, bro. The tallest dude we had, because Tyrone, Tyrone was Tyrone mm-hmm. really wasn't playing that much. Yeah. The tallest dude we had was like six three, bro. Bro, yeah, I remember I, I felt like that when we played against St. Pat's my senior year, bro. Feel me? I come in. First of all, Nick Richards didn't score on me, but he ended with like twenty seven though. But like, who was that points on? Not me, Pierre. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on Pierre, bro. But what you call it? So, Nick Richards subs out, and I'm like, feel me in my head. I'm like, a break. Like I get the like, not chill, but like I get the, I don't got, I don't got to sweat right now. Yeah, yeah, bro. Why are they subbing somebody taller than him, bro? There's only there's something two two people taller than him, bro. I was like, <sighs> nah, <laughs> bro. It's crazy work. Nah, <laughs> bro. I remember I was on the mixtape, like you know the little high school mixtape. Uh-huh. He punched my junk, bro. It was Kyle Whitney, bro. He punched it. I'm on the bounds. I'm on the mixtape too. Really? Uh, Jordan Walker, spin move. I'm I'm stumbling back. Really? He caught he caught, <laughs> he caught me. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna look that up. Hit me with a beep beep spit. I was like, oh, he caught me. <laughs> he caught me on the mix. Oh my sure, god. Sure, I'm in I'm in one of JQ's mixtapes too. Hit, hit. No, it was I think it was Luther. Hit my boy with a sham god and laid the fuck out of me. <laughs> I'm in I'm in I'm in all the mixtapes. Yeah, because you you played a lot more. I mean, we played. You played a lot more. Like the like the our conference was harder, but you guys played like the bigger like more outside like yeah. more teams like Bergen Catholic and all them. But we had the we had we probably had the worst like hardest conference in the state. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, nah, I wanted one truck. We had Art Rosa Catholic. We had St. Pat's. We had St. Pat's used to look at us. Like, that wasn't even a Catholic school. It was Union County though. Best it was the county. Oh, because like we played them all in the county tournament. Oh, okay. so we had them. Bro, we had Westfield, bro. Oh West- yeah, like that's a oh yeah, like a yeah. jamboree. Yeah, yeah, that's called the jamboree too. No, nah, we say uh, we just say it was regular. Tournament. Oh, ours was the jamboree. Yeah. So like, did you guys always did you guys always win yours or it was always like a battle between like I you never won Bergen? I never won. My oh, you never won it. I never oh, won okay. a jamboree. I know. So I, like, we won our county tournament. Like, I won in JV. Uh huh. Bro, it's so weird. I don't understand it, bro. Like, our JV team was really good. Like, yeah, when I played everybody J- on Vars, bro. Like. <laughs> no, no, no. We played when we we beat Rosa Catholic when they had Lou King and all them. Yeah, they was. I mean, that wasn't the bro. They nothing, still bro. six seven. Yeah, man, yeah, man. They had Lou King. They had this other dude from freaking Maryland. I was like six four, six five. Oh, the tallest no. guy we had was like six two. I can't explain it. I don't know. Y'all was just dogs, bro. I'm like, I, but like, I never understood. Like, we we won. Like, like most of the dudes play D one. Like, I don't understand. Like, I, I think it was coaching though, because we had we had a really good coach. Yeah. And JV, I love Zezer. I love you, bro. We used to have, we used to run this one thing on defense called double fist. That shit worked every pause. time. That's pause. not that pause, bro. Double fist. That's that's crazy. Come bro. on, bro. Stop. Get your head out the gutter, bro. But nah, I never won a jam. I never won a county tournament. Really? We always lost in like quarterfinals. Bro. I ain't gonna lie. I could have won one, but I ain't gonna speak on it because RIP Coach Smart. Mm. But hey, man, he know what he did. Hey, <laughs> it's okay, bro. But it's like I remember we played Westfield, and oh my god, I'll never forget this. We was up by like twenty. It was up by like ten, and Westfield, you know, all white boys. Yeah, you know, you know, what white boys do. Shoot, they had this one kid, like he was OD, like just jump, like shoot, like JJ Reddick, bro. Uh-huh. So I remember we was down by, we was up by fifteen in the fourth quarter, bro. They came back. They all oh, they they pressed us the whole quarter. Yeah, we had a they had a. It was my senior year. I didn't, re- bro. I was, I was about to quit basketball. He really didn't play me. He played this junior, this uh, junior ahead of me. He, he put him in the game. He kept getting plucked every time. Uh-huh. Bro, last play, one of the last plays of the game. They was down by two. He was bringing the ball up. He he picked the, his dribble up in yeah. the backcourt. You know I was wrong. 
the guy, one of the white guys, he the the, the JJ Ray dude, he's kind of stocky. Uh-huh. He grabs the ball, rips it at the same time, steps back without traveling and drills it. Damn. I've never seen that before in my life. Damn. Like like just imagine he runs, like he Call runs, steals it, shink, whap. Call game on you. Yeah, shit was bad, bro. I had so many game winners on this, bro. That's bad. I, I remember what you call it. Uh, I had game one. Wait, what AU team did you play for? IYB. Kent Kaluko. I don't know, dude. Yeah, I played for a team that was bad, so I could shoot. I didn't want to <laughs> play for anybody good. Okay. But what you call it, I remember uh, in the States, bro. We was like our state, like, in those, yeah, States. And we had to play against, was it, I think it was one of the, West something, one of them weird schools, West something. Westfield, Westwood. So one of them weird schools, yeah. Yeah. One where blue, one where like black and something. Westfield's blue. So yep, one of those weird schools, bro. I mm-hmm. think it was West Westfield. Mm-hmm. The whoever wears blue. It was a dude. He had he had he had green hair, mm. and a blue headband. I'll never forget him, bro. He was cooking us, man. <laughs> he, we, he almost lost, bro. Really? My senior almost lost the state to him. He was frying us, bro. Oh, wow, bro. It's like blue blue hair and a in a green headband or a green hair and a blue headband. He was cooking, bro. Like, oh my god, bro. Like, I feel like with us, bro, like even like even in college, like we never experienced like a game winner. We no, always I got games on. Steven. Huh? Stevens. No, no, no. Like where we won? No. Oh, we never got one. No, That's what nah, I'm saying. No, no, no. We've got game on. No, nah, we never game. Remember nobody. Mike Vick? Oh my god. Sam Tony turnaround fade like mm-hmm. Kobe and Mike Vick grill. Uh, what's that? That was it. Was it was Hugh Steven? No, was that FDU? FDU. FDU. And it's freaking from, from, mitt from, from the hell, volleyball bro. line. I remember, I remember my senior year when you were playing. We played William Patterson, bro. Oh shit. my God, I remember that, bro. Bro, that shit was crazy. It just I, he wetted that thing in, in Levi Mitt, bro. Uh-huh, I know, I know, I know. I was watching that game. I was like, oh. bro. I remember, like, even this year, like when I was watching the games, they played Alvernia. Uh huh. And they ran, um, they ran a play. Do you, do you ever, you remember any of the plays that we used to run? X. That's it. <laughs> Look at this nigga. We used to. You remember Box Five? You gotta remember box five. Yeah, box five we, simple screening screener. Uh huh. So they ran something like that. So when the guy screen the somebody screened Levi. Yeah. And they pushed them on the ground, and the guy cut to the rim, wide open game. Damn, bro. But I, but they had a game winner this year. Uh, we had a game. The Rutgers had a game winner. Yeah, uh-huh. it was they beat Stockton, bro. It was no, was this, it Russ, right? No, no, no. It was uh-huh. um this dude named Pascal. Oh. Uh-huh. So no, no, nah. I, I'm gonna tell you about Russ afterwards. So it was against Russ was Rowan. Yeah. yeah I heard so about that. so it was um but I ain't gonna lie, Stockton, they kinda folded. So like one of the freshmen, there's a freshman, he's gonna be really good. I ain't gonna lie, he's type he's really good. He stole the ball uh with like thirty seconds left, tied up, get, uh tied up, uh yeah. laid down, come back come back playing defense, right? So now he's dribbling the guy's dribbling. It was a uh, you remember DJ Campbell? Mm-hmm. He was him. He was trying to shoot it. They double team. He shot over. He passed it out. He passed it to uh, 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 the Rutgers. Yeah. The guy went from the back corner all the way to the basket in like three seconds and laid it up. Game. Tough. That shit was crazy, bro. Like he was running. Like, <laughs> like I didn't, I didn't think he was gonna get there, bro. Uh-huh. I thought he was good. I thought he was running too fast. He's gonna botch the layup. Yeah, like the, but, some Brandon Knight. <laughs> mm-hmm. But now Russ, bro. Now shout out to Russ, bro. I don't know if you're gonna watch shout this. Shout out far. to you, Russ, bro. I heard about your game, bro. Bro, Russ, Russ been playing OD. I would like he's he could come back next year, but I don't think he's gonna come back. I, he was going like towards the end of the season, he was going stupid, bro. Yo, senior night against Rowan, bro. Nigga Russ, you remember Fist? Mm-hmm. They ran that shit for Russ, bro. Down three. Nigga Russ caught it. Double pump. Whap. In the new mitt, bro. And I was ga- I was geek, bro. I'm the, I'm on the on the shot clock, uh-huh. but I, like the shot clock was off. So I'm like I'm jumping in the air. I'm like nah, bro. Uh-huh. It's tied up. So now this is, yo, I would ne- the dude's name was Booty Butler. That's his name. His name was Booty Butler. That's tough, what bro. Is- he came down on the court uh, on the freshman. It's always the freshman, bro. Came down. He said, "Hezzy, boom boom, pull up, whap." I was like. Oh my gosh! Like in his mi- like, like it was like so quick. I didn't uh-huh. think he was gonna shoot it, yeah. but he just came in smooth. Just said, ooh, ooh, right in your in his mitt, wet that shit, bro. Gamed it. Oh my! I was like, this was the time, bro. I don't know. Yeah. I think I think I don't know. If, I think Russ's shot. No, Russ's shot made, it tied it up. I thought it was like we was up by one, but uh-huh. now it tied it up. It was there was it was a it was a roller coaster of emotions. When Russ hit that, I was up. When he hit that, I was down. And then freaking brother Lamar snuck onto the court and was shaking the Rowan's hands. I was so confused. Oh my yeah, god, man, he's praising Jesus, bro. That's what he was doing. 
But you got anything else you want to talk about, bro, before we end the pod? Uh, I got two more, but I don't think we should be getting more that deep into it. You want to you want to save it for the next pod? Yeah, I said nah, cause it's gonna be it's gonna die down by then. What is it? So how do you feel about Drea getting pregnant by uh, Jalen Green? Jalen Green, thirty eight and twenty two. She so, has a, she has a son his age. Mm-hmm. So now, right? You know, I agree with the hate and slander that she's getting because they they did that to that one dude. What was that dude's name that was um. He 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 waited till his girl was eighteen to marry her, and he was like twenty nine. He's like thirty something. I don't know who you're talking about. What was his name? Something Houston. Is that, is it uh, an athlete? Nah, he's a singer. No, Marquise Houston. Y'all, y'all know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, bro, his, the, they did the same thing with him, bro. Let me let me let me Marcus Houston. I think Marcus. Marcus Houston. Houston. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, let me. Let he me played know. in. Uh, you got serve. Yes. Yeah, this dude. This dude. Mm-hmm. His wife. He met his wife. He's forty two. His wife was, uh, what was his wife? His, he married a 19 year old woman. So that's low key worse. But now you, it's like, you know, at the end of the day, they're like adults. They're, they're yeah. adults. But I feel like, what do you have in common with a 22 year old and you're damn you're near 40? Right? You're about to be 40. Like, what do you have in common for her? Like, he wasn't even alive. But with the shows that you was watching, you know what I'm saying, even when like they said like like Nick Young and Gilbert Arenas was like telling the story with her, yeah, that happened like when Rick, like Nick Young was a rookie, and oh, it was Nick, like, oh yeah, 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 it was like uh like he she was giving head to Gilbert Arenas in the back seat. Oh, that's while, what they was talking while, about while Nick Young was driving or something. Oh, and they was like, yo, Jalen Green came to defend her because he was three when it happened. That's what they was talking yeah. about. I didn't know that's what he was talking about. Like that's I crazy though. Like that is wild. But it's like he was three when that happened, bro. Like that's what I'm saying. It's like fellas. I feel like you know. And like I said, you have a kid my age. I mean, like yo, like why are you looking at people like as a as a kid? She definitely trapped him. But like as a kid though, like that was her like that was her friend like that was her son's friend or something like that. Mm. How do you like like how do you feel if your mom dated somebody your age? That's, That's crazy. very weird. Yeah, it's very weird. I'm looking at my mom very weird. And like they, even with Brittany, Brittany Burgos, Brittany, Brittany Bur- Renner. No, Burgos. Oh, Burg. The one. That's, oh, she's dating Jalen Brown. Her, she has a 27. She has a 27 year old daughter. Jalen Brown's 27. Yeah. I know. How are you dating somebody that's the same age as me? I think it's just really weird because it's like, but you know, everybody has their. It's not illegal, but it's just really weird. It's, it's weird. Like, it's strange. It's, it's, it's strange. I feel like that's like take. They're trying to take advantage of them. Cause they're like they have experience, so like these. Damn, they, they she's really a twenty-seven year old. She's forty-three. She had babies young, bro. So sixteen. Like yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, man. But it's like, you know, like if that, like it's like you gotta realize that a lot of women out here really just out here to get a bag, bro. That's terrible. It's a really terrible way of thinking about it, but it's the truth. Like these girls really be out but here. Think just, about it. If it was a man and a woman. I mean, like I said, Marcus Houston did the same thing. He didn't really get <laughs> slandered for it, but he did get slandered. He waited for that girl to be like he married her as soon as she turned 18, 19. Yeah, that's sick. Like he was waiting. That's like but like that's like the and he's like forty something. It's like grooming. Basically grooming, bro. Yeah. That's so weird. That's like that's like us waiting for a twelve year old. Yeah, that's crazy. That's so crazy, bro. Like it's like at the end of the day, I, that's why I feel like those type of women are like not right in the head. Because yeah. if if men your age are not trying to get at you, there's something. There's not. It's not them. Yeah, and you like you're not like like she, they're not she, they're not bad looking women either. Yeah. Like Brittany Renner's. I mean, not Brittany Renner. Oh, uh, Drea. Drea, she's a good looking girl. Uh, mm-hmm. Brittany Burgos, bad bro. How come you can't get nobody? Yeah, why you? Why can't you get a a, a successful man that is? Why you can't get age? a successful thirty five year old? That's what I'm saying. Like it's not. It shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> like you know, like it shouldn't be that hard. Like like you want it. Like that's what I'm saying. Like why are they still like that's why I feel like they are like grooming in a way yeah that's kind of that's too it's just too weird bro it's like too weird when it's just i'm glad it's not the other way around though i mean because it, they'll be crucified if it's yeah that's what i'm around. saying but she the cruci as long as the crucifixion is equal it's cool it's not but we're not gonna talk about it <laughs> hey man hey man she gets slandered about so you meet me in the in the back seat bro hey that's just that's just telling us to, she, she was just a hoe that's her fault hey man dang bro that's why fellas when you have, if you have a daughter, or if you're gonna have a daughter, raise them well. It's not that hard. Just be in their lives, bro. Show them what a man is supposed to be. Don't be away. You know what I'm saying? That's what. Yeah. When I you know, when I have kids, bro, 
I'm gonna be a great father, bro. You gotta you gotta do the due diligence. But you got any other questions you gonna ask? You got anything topic no, you wanna talk about? I'm good. I'm gonna save my next <laughs> one for the next pod. Got you. Let me write you. it down. Yeah, please. I, don't forget I, it. I give these guys notes to write down topics and they just look at me like, yeah. Pussy. Like I'm trying to help them out. You know what? I'm I'm gonna start treating y'all like Aiden, bro. I don't I don't know what that means. You didn't see what Aiden did with his friend groups? Aiden was paying his friends 50k a month just to stream for 100 hours a month, and they didn't do it. And then he kicked two of them out. That's crazy though. 50 50,000 a month. Uh huh. Is it stream for how long? 100 hours. Yeah, it's good. I'll do that shit. That's man. what I'm saying. But I'm like, if like that's what I'm that yeah, that's how I'm feeling with y'all <laughs> niggas. I'm giving y'all the resources and things to do. I ain't ask I ain't ask for much. Just write down your thoughts. Niggas not doing it. That's what I was thinking about <laughs> on the toilet though. What? Uh, damn. The what? The one that asked before this. Oh, about the Wemby thing? Yeah. That's okay, what I was okay. About on the toilet. Okay, okay. I'm glad you remembered, bro. But I'm lying. That's not what I was thinking about on the toilet. <laughs> write down your thoughts, please. <laughs> Just write. That's all I asked for. I have 77 pages of notes from two years, 21,000 words. I didn't write it <clears> down because <throat> I came from the toilet to the seat. But look, now this is your lesson now. Next time you write it down. Yeah. Thank you. Got you. me. You got me. <laughs> But thank y'all again for tuning in to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number 131. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe, like, comment, share it down below, post notifications. You know, help a lot. You don't have to. It will be greatly appreciated. To all my people, audio listeners, write us a review. If you don't want to, that's okay. We love y'all regardless. We thank y'all for listening to us and enjoying the videos every single week. New content coming, more streams coming, more live streams, more all that coming. So that tune into good. that, bro. And if you made it to the end, uh, if you have a dog, Comment your dog's name. Type shit. We different than regular regs, man. Gangster. I'm gonna really go get it. I'm gonna really go get it.